What is up, everybody? I'm going to my, for whatever reason, this isn't showing on my screen, so I'm going to my channel and going into the chat. That way I can see what's going on. <clears throat> now, I know I've probably been here for a minute, if not the whole time, by myself. However, that is quite fine and dandy. What's up, Ronnie? Me drinking me some Southern Tier Blueberry Tart, a Wally World Especial. About the only craft beer I can get a hold of right now, other than some local stuff. How's everything going, man? Ah, uh, it's going. It's um, I got ref I'm getting a referral to a specialist at a big hospital local to me so they can do further testing and they can figure out which way they need to go with everything um it's like i was telling my doctor i it's it's one thing to follow your finger or follow something that's going by at this speed or even my daughter's soccer practices but it's another thing trying to take and watch the road and seeing everything going by 60 miles an hour so and this is at eight and a half percent abv and there you go Southern Tier Blueberry Tarts, Imperial Sour Wheat Ale. You can smell the tart, and you can smell the blueberry. Ooh, damn, dude, I'm, I hate to hear that. Hopefully that passes pretty quick for you, man, especially, you know, it's, it's one thing to have a sore throat. You got the other stuff on top of it, buddy. That ain't fun. Smells pretty good. It tastes pretty good too. It tastes blueberry. It's got a moderate amount of sourness. It's not like pucker your lips type sour, but it's enough to know that it, that you know it's there. But it's also refreshing at the same time. Yeah, that's that's it's a hell of a combination dude seriously that's um you know i, I hate you're going through that that's ugh. <clears throat> as far as the beer is concerned you can taste the blueberry got a moderate amount of sourness um it, it's got that weedy profile it, it's got a little bit of hard for me to describe stuff sometimes it's very it is it's a refreshing beer and eight percent eight and a half percent abv it's not boozy at all so i mean it, it's it's a it's a good drinking beer i take and give this i get this about 3.75 uh, out of five i mean it's pretty good three and three quarter out of five I, I i say it's worth buying at least especially if you go to walmart and see it mm. Come in a four pack for like 13 bucks, but you know, that's the price you pay for craft beer sometimes. Well, other than I got little gnats around here for some reason, come in when I was trying to take a load of groceries. Well, other than being sick, how's everything going for you? How to how tax season go for you? Stay pretty busy. <clears throat> My wife actually found a job. That's going to help her out as far as being her schooling for the accounting. She's taking and doing basically uh, peop, uh, personnel hours, payroll, and she's going to be taking and doing uh, bids and stuff like that, along with answering phones and everything of that nature. So it's a. Uh, it's going to take and I think really help her out. She she loves it too. She absolutely loves her job. I, I bet that was a I bet that's a hectic time of the year for you, man. That's everybody trying to get their taxes done and you know can't imagine. Well, they're going fly uh nuts. Well, hopefully you can find something. I know down there in Florida they don't have the uh state income tax, so you probably take and do a little bit better. As far as 
maybe income wise depending on i get probably also depends on what part of florida you're looking at you take a look at some of the bigger places like jacksonville or pensacola or miami or tampa or something like that you probably gotta probably get more money but then you've also got the higher cost of living whereas you take and goes maybe one of the outlying places or something like that that's still you get you get the business from people that are driving home from Jacksonville and everything. Oh, Clearwater, Clearwater. <coughs> nice little area. Yeah, that, you should do pretty good down there, man. I mean, really. Beautiful area. You'll, you'll love the uh, you'll love the weather down there. That's for sure. I remember when I was in the Coast Guard. I didn't ever go to Clearwater when when I was in the Coast Guard, but I remember being in the Coast Guard and pretty much from about the middle of Florida down, like year round. It's flip flop weather just about. I mean, you you get days that are in the sixties, but it's not near as bad as what. Uh, it's not. It don't get near as cold as it does where you're at, or even where I'm at. <clears throat> and I'm uh, I'm actually thinking that I talked to the boss man today. I gave him an update on how things were going. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure I'm be able to take and go back to that job. Uh, I hope I can. I really do. Nice. Nice. Y'all yeah, y'all gonna y'all gonna love it down there. It's just so so pretty, number one. I mean, I know <clears throat> I haven't been through a whole lot of New Jersey. I know Cape May is very pretty, and so is the couple of towns that are outside of Cape May. That's some beautiful areas. I know there's beautiful spots all over New Jersey, but down in Florida, just the weather alone sells you because it's year-round. I mean, it's fucking, it's, you know, flip-flop weather at least. And, then you know, once it's hotter, I mean, it gets muggy as shit, but you got rain showers that always roll through there. So, I mean, <clears throat> dude, it's good luck to you, Bo. Uh, seriously. Um, as far as my job is concerned, I'm not sure I'm going to take and go back. I'm hoping I can, but uh, I was talking with a doctor today, and this could be a year-long process trying to take and get to where I can even drive again. So, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that I don't have to take and switch jobs, but I just don't know at the moment. Yeah, those are two big selling. <clears throat> those are two big selling points too. Cheaper living is always nice in the weather. If if the weather is not always, you know, if the winter is not cold, no, they're not going to fire me. Uh, they'll they'll give me the opportunity to resign. Uh, here in a here in about three four weeks, FMLA is going to run out. And I think about four weeks after that, my short term will wind up being uh, done and over with. So at that point in time, I mean, I don't have any long term and the company could keep me on. But if it's going to stretch out for a year, I'm not going to keep them in suspense. You know, that just wouldn't be right. And there's stuff I can. <clears throat> I did tech support for a year and a half doing online remote support for a company that was third party through Geek Squad. I had over a thousand cases and I had five star reviews. So. If need be, I'll take and wind up doing uh, tech support type work, uh, probably on my own. Uh, probably take and just wind up doing stuff around here. Maybe find a local computer shop I can go um, work at for taking and either clearing out viruses or, you know, installing software or printers or, you know, taking and doing tune-ups and things of that nature. And probably going to be looking at taking and buying a couple of older computers that I can look at the spec sheets and actually see, see what components I can actually buy for relatively, relatively cheap that I can upgrade it with. And then, you know, take and uh, sell it for a little bit more taking, you know, sell it as a Fortnite computer, you know, it'll, it'll run Fortnite everybody or uh, apex legends or whatever's popular at the time. Just make sure it can run that at basic graphic levels basically a starter gaming computer for a younger person and you know try to make a you know 150 or so dollars off of that see if i can't move 
one or two of those a week, whether it be through eBay, eBay or the local um, Craigslist or something of that nature. So that's probably what it, it looks like, at least until I can go back. If I if I'm able to go back, that's what I'm gonna wind up doing. So are you? Uh, Sore throat's one thing. The other thing is something else. So I don't. I don't know if you'd be feeling up to probably, you know, to doing any kind of um, panel. But if you you want to join, I can send you a link, and then you know, you just you got to take off. You can take off. <clears throat> I know. It, up there, they've got teachers unions around here. They don't have unions or nothing like that for teachers, but um, we've got a lot of teachers in the uh, surrounding school districts where I live at that are, a lot of them are finding some substitute teachers so they can go basically to the, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd offer me. It's been a minute since we've been able to take a chit chat anyways. So whenever you're feeling better, this is going to be something that during the daytime, I'm going to be on Twitch from about 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning to about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I'm going to clean the house and everything before my wife gets home. And about 10 o'clock to about 12 o'clock, I'm going to start taking and doing stuff like this and beer reviews, beer review and panel live streams. And um, I have to catch you on one of those. It's been a minute since we've been able to chit chat. Um, I'm going to try to take and be more active in the uh, Google Hangouts and stuff like that, where everybody chit chats back and forth and stuff. But um, yeah, around here, they're tomorrow. The teach a lot of the teachers they they found themselves some substitute teachers to come in. They're all going to take and go to state house and uh, complain about the the pay and the class sizes, which I think is I think that's pretty. That's something they need to do because they don't get paid near enough around here for the crap they got to put up with. Hey, that being said, I mean, the school my kids go to, I, I understand that the teachers being underpaid, it's a passing school and teachers aren't paid near enough. There's some schools and some of the school districts out in the outlying areas of where we're at, where they're failing schools. That it's just like, dude, why haven't y'all done this six years ago? I mean, seriously, y'all all need more pay. Y'all are coming out of pocket to take and get stuff for your classrooms. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, it really doesn't. <clears throat> I plan on, uh, I planned on doing it today, but I forgot I had a doctor's appointment this morning. But start tomorrow at 10 o'clock, I'm going to be on Twitch, taking and doing my gaming. Um, it's easier to make affiliate on Twitch than it is to take and get monetized here. But I'm going to take it at nighttime, take and do my YouTube stuff. So that way I can kind of try to grow bro both. And I'm looking at website options too so i can take and start a blog and website and stuff like that mr jacob downey how's it going sir it is good to see you <clears throat> oh i bet you I, I bet so teachers in new york they that between between their pay and their pensions the teachers unions i understand at one point in time yes sir six six to 100 subscribers that is um that's something I'm looking for. That's something that once I hit that, that'll be awesome. I, I thankful for everybody that subscribes, but six to a hundred and a lot. Most of my subscribers have come in the last three and a half months. Cause I remember, I remember the first time I took and did join the panel on for Brandon on one of his, I was at like 30 something subscribers and I jumped like 60 or 70, like or 50 subscribers like that on the same stream and then i've just been networking going to different people's stuff and six to a hundred I, I didn't think i've been doing this for over a year and i didn't think i'd ever get to even 90 so i'm happy if i hit 100 that's cool but uh <clears throat> i'm gonna see if i can't i'm gonna start doing the twitch thing and then see if i can't make affiliate there uh and then at night doing that during the day and at night time doing the youtube and i'm also going to be taking and doing a website that way it'll link people to 
to Twitch and it'll link people to the YouTube. I'll take and do a blog post about the game that I played and the matches that I've done and the deck that I use for Magic the Gathering. Cause that's that's what I'm going to be con uh, concern, uh, concentrating on is that game because that's not all I play anymore. And then for the YouTube, I'm going to be taking and doing a blog post with the YouTube videos embedded uh, talking about the beer that I took and uh, drank and then also have it to where it em embeds the latest live stream somewhere. So that way I, I can kind of get some, try to get some traction all over the place. And I'm going to start being more active in Reddit and different uh, Facebook groups that actually take and promote people's stuff without taking me like follow for follow, follow for follow, because that don't work. But I, I'm hoping, and, and the Twitch affiliate, y'all you need is 500 hours of stream time, seven unique days of streaming, and three concurrent viewers at a time. Or three three concurrent viewers average per stream. So at that point in time, once you hit affiliate, you can actually get you, you can actually have people that subscribe to you, which you take and get half of the subscription fee. You can take and people can buy bits and then take and donate bits to cheer and chat. What is up, Alex? Would you like Jacob or Alex? Would y'all like to join the panel? And know Ronnie's under the weather, so he's done said that that's not going to be an option today, which is understandable. I'll tell you what. Here's what I'll do. Copy. Paste. So, if anybody wants to join, you can join. We'll chit-chat and have a grand old time. Now, Jacob, what are you up to do up to today, man? Ooh. What is up, Alex? How is it going, sir? What's up, man? I was actually watching Unsolved Mysteries on YouTube. That's why I didn't see your thing come up yet. <laughs> Nice, nice. Now you didn't see it earlier when I started, I don't think, but I reviewed yeah. Southern mm -hmm. Blueberry Tart with Imperial Sour Wheat Ale. Very good. You can buy it at Walmart if you've got Walmart near uh close to you. Uh they should have it. It's that's pricey for a four pack it's thirteen dollars, but it's got got just more sourness to let you know it's there, but it's not like lip puckering sour. Um, but it's also refreshing and eight, eight and a half percent alcohol. You can't really taste alcohol. So, I mean, it's hold on. My kitty cats want to kitty cats want to join. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie asked if they saw the mystery, Alex. Oh, well, they solved some mysteries, but they didn't solve all of them. No. Right, bro. I watched a couple episodes. It was an episode of a whole bunch of stories. Is it? Is it? Were you watching the new ones or were you watching the old Unsolved Mysteries? Well, what happens is that you have the original Unsolved Mysteries with Robert Stack. He passes away in 2004 or whatever. Yeah. Then you got the new Unsolved Mysteries with, with Frank, whatever his name is. I'm, he's another actor. I don't remember his name now. But uh, no, France. Fran Perino or something like that. That's who played in the new Unsolved Mysteries. Sorry about that. My, my wife texted me. That's okay. Well, wife comes first. <laughs> and hello to Suresh Music and Blogs. Hope everything is going good for you today. And um, hopefully we're not so weird that we drive you away. Hey, Alan, it's, I think it's Fran Farino or whatever his name is that played in the new Unsolved Mysteries. Okay. I haven't seen any of the new Unsolved Mysteries. I know that the ones that Robert Stack was in. Yeah. Bruh, them things as a kid watching those, I, 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 I will say this. I will say this. I was a scary-ass youngin. Like, for real, for real, I was a scary-ass youngin. So watching the Unsolved Mysteries and 
they couldn't tell who they they couldn't figure out who killed who or anything like that it, it some of those stories freak me the fuck out and i would take and not be able to sleep after watching the shit i'd be like uh somebody think- will come in and murder my happy white ass oh my god <laughs> you know yeah so, i know <laughs> Well, if you watch Robert Stack, doesn't his voice scare you a little bit too? It doesn't scare me. I think I, I think that's that has something to do with it because his voice just taking and leading up to the mystery, and then his commentary and the little breaks throughout, you know, the individual mysteries that he you know they would take and show. Bo, he had the creepiest fucking voice for that shit. I mean, for real, for real. I mean, he took and added to the aura of all that. Yeah, I'm trying to think who the gutter is. I think yeah, I think its name is Frank. Frank Farino or Serino, whatever his name was. If you look up Unsolved Mysteries, it'll tell you the two hosts of that show. I got you. Yeah, he was scary a little bit, but I like Robert Stack. I think he was a good actor. He also played in the series Untouchables, which is starring, you know, him as Elliot Nest. Yeah. Yeah, Ronnie, the music, the the music did it too, Bubba. The music did it too. Oh, Ronnie's watched it too. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Ronnie's Ronnie's been a. I, th- I think as soon as I went live, Ronnie uh, was in the chat. I was like, "Holy shit!" Unfortunately, he's not feeling good enough to take and do the panel. It's like I was telling him, it's been a minute since I've, I've been able to take and chit chat with him. So, oh. but I, I'll catch him on one of the other ones. He can hop on the panel and join us and chit chat and everything like that. I'm, my cat is like she's horny again, and I'm ready to throw her out the fucking house. Hey, well, not Ronnie, leave me the fuck I- alone. Hey Ronnie, if I I know I'm not gonna be able to see your writing, but what is wrong with you? Do you have a headache or something like that? I know he can hear me, and then he can obviously give you the thing, and you can tell me. Uh, he's got sore throat and some other stuff. Uh, um, Suresh music and blogs. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, is everything going good for you? I have to uh, check out your channel because I'll bring you up real quick. Let me see. Oh, there we go. I like checking out people that come into the chat room or into well, the chat. Well, that's good, though. And you can subscribe to them if you think they're interesting and stuff. I'm already subscribed. I'm already subscribed. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, it's... But I, I've, I'm subscribed to so many people, and I'll take and go through, and I'll, I'll take a look at so many... Oh, that's right. Dude, you have an amazing voice. For real, for real. Like, I've, I've watched... I, I've watched the the Remember by Lauren uh, Daigle is her name I think, dude you got a you got a really good voice man for real. Yeah that's right because I, I can't remember I think it was one of uh, Pusa uh, their um one of their live streams they um I think I seen him take and pop up or something like that and I took and clicked on his stuff and I was like. Holy crap! I listen, let's watch one, uh, one or two of his videos, and his voice is pretty good, man. I mean, really, he's he's good. Hey, Alan, I uh, you told me to go on your thing, and there was no videos. I I went on it, and it said no videos. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm going crazy or something. But you told me to go on there, and that's what I did. Maybe you private it. I don't know, or do I have to subscribe to you, or do I need to? I've no, you should you shouldn't have to subscribe. I'll take and what I'll do is I'll let's see channel videos. Because I'll link there, I'll link it so later on if you can't take and you know you can go back through this and I'll take and send it to you on um Instagram as well. But start oh, tomorrow okay. start tomorrow morning. I'm gonna start doing the Twitch. I was Yeah, because I, I planned on doing it today, but I had a doctor's appointment I completely forgot about. So, oh. well, what happened was I went on it and it says no videos. This channel has no videos and it shows me the camera on top. This channel has no videos. <laughs> ah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll send you a link and it might be a little bit. Ah, I see what it is. It's Alan's Beer Gaming, not Alan's Beer and Gaming like it is on this. Okay. That's right. That's one of the ways I messed up. I'm doing all right, Suresh. I, I can't complain. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, everything's like going decently. I've got some medical issues that are going on, but I 
Hey, Alan, I have an idea. Why don't you take your cat? Does he go out? I'm, I'm about cat? to. I was about to say, give me a minute. I'm going to take the cat and put it in my room. I'll be right back. All right. See ya. Uh, the cat likes sleeping on the back corner of our uh, bed anyway, so. Well, now you should be okay now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what So what happened, Alan? Because when I go on, you told me to go on your channel and it says no videos. Did I hit it something? Yeah, no, no, no. I took and said is Alan's Beer and Gaming or whatever, but it's Alan's Beer Gaming. Not Alan's Beer and, it's just Alan's Beer Gaming. Um, so... I thought I had the and in this, but I forgot I couldn't make it as long. So I run it all together. Alan's beer gaming. So that way. Oh, yeah. So what was it that I went on then? Because it might be somebody else's. I don't know. Let me. Let me check here. That's what probably was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell I did. I'm not seeing it says no results found when I take and search anything. So oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. weird. Now Alan's beer gaming, I'm able to take and bring myself up, but like I said, I just took and give you the wrong I the wrong name for the channel. Oh, so it's Alan Beer and Gaming. It's no Alan Alan's beer. beer gaming. Alan's it's... beer gaming. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, Ronnie, uh, it, it, the beer games aren't going to be quite what people think because you think beer games, you're thinking like, you know, beer pong and stuff like that. And this is going to be like Magic the Gathering Arena. That's that's what I'm going to concentrate on because it's what I've been ranking up in the last couple weeks. Every time uh, new sets just dropped and I'm trying to take and, uh, trying hey. to take and get better with that. I appreciate hey. that, Suresh. Appreciate that. Hey, Alan, can we give a can we do a test tomorrow when you do your uh, uh, what's it called gaming on Twitch? Because I did say you can get a <clears> channel. <throat> I just want to see if it works. I'm not saying we have to do yeah. that, but I want to see if it works for future references. If you don't do it on YouTube all the time, I want to see if we could do a panel on there just in case you don't do it here. Yeah, yeah. And, and like I said, I'll, I'll check with that tonight to see how maybe I could take and do a panel because I've seen people with panels. Okay. So I don't know. I'll check that tonight and see how to take and work that. Um, I'm going to take and but I think what I'm going to do is I'm doing the strictly the gaming on Twitch, the beer reviews. Now I might take and start out with a beer review or a beer to take and drink during the gaming. Um, and then, but my main beer stuff is going to be here on YouTube and I'm going to take and my, my, as of right now, the plan is to take and be live on YouTube from like 9 30, 10 o'clock to like 12 o'clock at night. So that way I can I can still get to bed at a decent time, wake up, take and wake up in time to take and do the live streaming on Twitch and then stream stream from like 9 30, 10 o'clock to one o'clock in the afternoon and then take care of the kids and take and do housework and stuff like that till the wife gets home. Oh, so Twitch is around nine o'clock to, to one, one o'clock in yeah. the afternoon. Yeah. And then at night, it's going to be nine o'clock to ten or eleven for your YouTube, maybe if anything. Yeah, no, no, it's I'm gonna, I've got to take and still put in time with the YouTube because if not, I don't, you know, this is what I started doing. YouTube is what I started doing, and I, I still love doing videos. I love doing the live streams on YouTube, so I'm gonna probably put out a video, put you know, put out still put out videos plus do the live stream. So it, it won't be a video a night, but I'll at least take a uh, live stream in the evening times. Um, now granted, if like, I see that Brandon's going to take and do a live stream and I want to take and watch that, maybe jump in on the panel on his, I'll take and do a video, you know, beforehand and take and be like, Hey, look, you know, this is a review later tonight. Somebody else that I watch is taking and doing a live stream. I might take, and I'm gonna try to jump on their panel and I'll take and pre preface it with that. But drunken one, what is up? Good, sir. Hey, drunken one. Do you want to come on the panel like you did yesterday? If you have time. Thanks for stopping by, Suresh. I appreciate you stopping by, man.
Yeah, drunken one. If you want to hop on, man, hop on. I can send you the link. And Suresh, I mean, if if you ain't got nothing pressing, you can stick around for a second. I mean, you can take and do the hangout. You can uh, hop on too. Get to know you a little bit. What are you drinking, Alan, this afternoon? Because it is twelve o'clock. <clears throat> yeah. It's uh, it's that southern tier, the blueberry tart. I'm still just sipping on that. Oh. All right, Thanks. Ronnie. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Drunk, <laughs> I hear that drunk one. It's always fun being uh, being that being that busy. Makes a day interesting, that's for sure. Is he busy, drunken one, Alan? Mm -hmm. or no? Oh, so he won't be coming on. Yeah, he said he's busy as a one-legged man in an ass kicking contest. So. Oh, that means he's busy then. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He's probably working on his farm or whatever he does at his house, I guess. Probably so, if I had to venture a guess. Which, <clears throat> Let's see, Which I might be going to get me a, a, the raspberry wheat here uh, shortly to take and have a drink of that. Oh. When's the kids coming home? Half a day? Or are they, or are they No, they've got, they've got a full day today. My, dude. I love my sister-in-law to death. Tickled me yesterday. I figured out. I found when I found out the reason why she she did half a day. She she did half a day yesterday so she could take her kids to watch uh, Avengers Endgame. Oh, okay. I was like, well, I was like, I'm gonna take and tell my nephew he's a butthead for seeing it before I did. So, so that's did your kids go to the movies or no 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 no? She brought my kids here. She took her kids to the movies, but oh. I'll I'll probably want to wind up having her kids um this afternoon after they get out of school. So oh. I like, I like messing with my nephew. I'll take and I'll take and talk trash to him every so often. Nice. I have to tell him, you can't be saying a word. I don't want to hear no spoilers. I'm taking bust you in the mouth. If you say something <laughs> joking, of course, cause he's 13, 14. Yeah. If you actually bust him in the mouth, you'd be getting in trouble. <laughs> Al, yeah. You're, you're a trip. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd, I wouldn't take and I, I, I wouldn't do that. It's, I, I'm a. I tell you. I tell you what. My nephew. My nephew is. Well, he's something else. All kids. It's funny. When me and my wife got together, my nephew was like four or five years old. So I mean, it's funny watching the kids. The, the permeation of their the how, the way their personalities and everything <laughs> taken form over the years. And he's went from being a kid that he talked, but it wasn't a whole lot. But he's always been like matter of fact about stuff, and he's not shy about asking questions. But um, he he's he likes manga and anime and superhero stuff, and he's into big into gaming. And it's just it's funny talking to him. He's like, "Have you played this game? So and so's got this, and blah 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 blah." And you know, it's just it's it's funny seeing the way kids take and change over the years. It really is. And your nephew likes gaming too, just as much as you, or no? Mm -hmm. He does. Okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. he'll, does he have a video uh, gaming channel like you, or no? I don't know. I have to ask him because I know at one point in time he had a channel. I was subscribed to it, but I don't think he put he's put anything out on it in a while. And I think he actually started a new channel, but I don't know if he's got anything out on it yet. So, oh. <clears throat> but I think whenever he was playing, whenever he's doing his channel, he was putting out a lot of stuff for. I think it was mobile gaming he was doing. So, I mean, he was doing something a little bit different. Oh, I, nice. I think he was ahead of the curve on that. It's just he didn't – I don't think he stuck to it like a lot of folks. Well, maybe he had no interest in it in, in YouTube-wise. Maybe he has interest in, in his personal life. And maybe, yeah. he want, maybe he don't want to be on YouTube anymore. I don't know. I don't know yeah. why you would vote – I don't even know why you would make another channel if you don't want to do YouTube anymore. I guess he thought maybe it would work. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I think what it is, he changed it. It's, it says he's grown up since he first, because that first channel he did it, he was like seven or eight years old. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I you know, <clears throat> which I'm going to ask him about that, because he's got a pretty decent laptop. And if he's going to, I might have to ask him if he's wanting to take and do like gaming on his PS4 or, or something like that, or or his laptop, and he's wanting to take and do the game, uh, the streaming and stuff like that, or, or the gaming videos. I have to talk to him about that, because. I can, there's a couple of things I can point in his direction to take and help him out with that. 
and he could play games with you too. That'd be yeah, cool. yeah. And that's some, and and actually that's something that if he does, I mean, yeah, they do, they do, Jacob. They, a lot of the large game companies do put out tip clips. Um, Is that Jacob Downey or something? Mm-hmm. Like no, nope, that's Jacob Downey. Hey, Jacob Downey, if you're not at work, why don't you come on the panel? Um, if you're not at work. <laughs> yeah. But he says he's getting ready. Yeah, no, that's – um. He's getting ready to go to work or is he getting ready to come on the I panel? think he's getting ready to come on here. Because he, he said earlier uh, it, it'd be a few minutes before he's able to come on. Um, um yeah, I might have, I might actually have to take an ask him about that because I know he started a new channel, so I'm gonna have to ask him exactly what his focus is on it. He might, I don't know. He he he's he's one of those he's one of those kids. He he might wind up doing skits and stuff on it or stuff with his sister. I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to ask him, but if he's um if he's wanting to do gaming, take and see if he uh see if he wants to take and me and him can take and do dual videos or something like that. That'd be cool. I mean, I don't, or a dual you guys, stream. You guys will be going Twitch though, because that's what you're claiming to do. So. Well, that's what my, my my main thing is going to be is Twitch for the gaming. However, if he's wanting to stick to uh, YouTube, I mean, I could always take and you know, whenever he's at home in the afternoons, take and do stuff with him for YouTube. I've got no problem doing that. Um, so that's that's something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him about that. I ain't, I ain't even thought nothing about it until. I it said came something. to mind a second ago. Yeah, these damn gnats, they need to go on somewhere. I'll tell you what, you open the doors around here and it's warm enough that the gnats take and follow you in the house. They're like, ooh. Um, did you send the link to, to my Instagram to go on your channel or no? Not or not yet. Once I get off of here, I'll take and do that for you. Okay. I'm a, I'll take and I'll send you the link so you can um check it out and you can actually follow and once I once I go live, you can if you want to take and watch me streaming and chit chat with me in the chat. I mean, we, and I we'll figure and we'll figure out whether or not we, I can actually do a panel or whatever. I want to do a test on that tomorrow if you can. I mean, I'm not saying we got. I mean, I'm not saying let's do that a whole day. I just want to test it out. You know, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I I got you. And once I got you. We, once I know that's good, then then I just go off and then and I just watch you because you know. Yeah. Unless, you, unless you tell me to stay on. If yeah. not, I'll go off and I'll just watch you and talk to you on the chat. I got gotcha. you. It just no, because cool. I sworn I saw some people on another chat when I watched it, when I accidentally came across somebody else's because of you. It was a pretty girl, actually, believe it or not. But um, I think she had uh, something on there, too, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm actually tonight. I'm going to be looking at how to take and do designs and stuff like that for your for your descriptions below the videos and all that good stuff i've got to i've got to figure a lot of the stuff out i think i have to follow you before i i can watch you but i don't think i can um i think i have to have my own account to follow you though yeah yeah i mean i could follow you but i have to uh i can go on there and watch you but i can't hit the word follow until i have my own account i think right yeah okay. you have to have it you have to have an account with twitch to follow somebody Right, but I can watch you. I can yeah, you can you can watch oh. all the time. So I mean, that's that's not an issue. If you wanted to follow, you'd have to have an account. But anybody that's watching, whether whether they're following or not, that's um that takes and helps. So either way. Oh, here's Jacob Downey. Yes, sir. I bet you a whole bunch of other people probably come on here too. Watch that I got Jacob Downey. Oh, what? there it goes. Jacob Downey, where'd you go? He might be getting everything. He might still be taking and getting stuff ready, uh, techno, uh, technologically on his side. Oh, technical. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Hey, Jacob. Hey. All Everything right. going hey. all right for you, man? Yeah. Got uh, chocolate covered walnuts. Ooh, that sounds that sounds delicious. Farm and fleet. Nice, nice. So I haven't been able to take and I've been trying to take and get everything. Been doing a lot of practice for Magic the Gathering. I think that's a game we'll mainly stream on Twitch. Um, but uh, I might just take and check in the next time you take and go live or something that I'm not live. Take and check you out. I know you've got a couple of live streams I've missed where you've taken and uh, buffing out some stones and stuff like that. Oh, me? Yeah. 
Yeah. I separated out my my two channels. Like my channel, me, the one in the chats, that's my gem channel. Yeah. That's what I shape on. And then people can subscribe to me. They get notifications on Sunday about my gems. Okay. Then my chat bot. So I have a separate account, another Google account that I I I have the I have OBS. And then I also have a second program I open up called OBS Chat, Chatbot. Mm. Huh. So um, OBS, or, or Streamlabs OBS, has a chatbot in it. And it comes up, it says Streamlabs. Yeah. But then when I, when I use the chatbot program also, then I log in with whatever account I want, and it will post under that account. Hmm. So I made a second account, right? And so the chatbot program posts everything under this YouTube administrator account. And that's what I game on is my YouTube administrator account. Huh? Yeah. Let's see. I've, uh, I've got OBS and that's what I use for my streaming as far as like when I do my gaming, because I've, you see, I've got the green screen. I use it to take and that way it's just me and you got the game in the background. But, uh, is as far regular? as like, the, I'm about is to figure out how to take and use this, the stream labs with it. So that way I've got a chat bot. That way it can kind of, moderate what's going on in chat for twitch or whatever yeah i don't know if uh the streamlabs chatbot works with regular obs but i use streamlabs chatbot with streamlabs obs i gotcha hmm. i'm just taking a look into that yeah actually know- alan since i since i have the two channels and i don't want to have to switch out the channel key or or there might be multiple profiles i don't know but i open Streamlabs OBS for my Sunday show because it has better production quality. Huh. And I actually like it better. But since since I don't want to have to change out that stream key, I use regular OBS for my gaming stream on the YouTube administrator channel. Huh. That's interesting how... Yeah, I'm going to take a look into that a little bit because I've looked at the Streamlabs OBS because you got a lot of overlays and like different stuff you can actually add to your streams yeah. and stuff like that and <clears throat> it takes a lot of time <laughs> yeah it's i'm still figuring it out yeah i i there, i know you know i'm pretty good with technology and everything like that but there's still some of the stuff that i'm like what the fuck is going on here and it's yeah like, remember right, when well, we were kids you could learn something nowadays you got to be able to learn it on the fly yeah oh yeah definitely Especially if you want to take and have, you know, the pretty production values and everything like that that everybody mm-hmm. wants whenever they watch somebody streaming and shit like that. It's Yeah, like my joke portion of the program. <laughs> I made that video. Dude, I had to make, I got the explosion. I got the guitar riff. I made the text. I had to overlay it and time it all just right and then fade it out. And Damn. Even, even then it's kind of <clears throat> chunky. <laughs> Damn. But, you know. Well, I know, I know there's regular scenes and stuff and transitions you can add and in regular uh, in regular OBS, but but some of this stuff is like holy, f- just you've got to take and go through it three or four times before you can kind of wrap your head around exactly what the hell they're talking about and kind of yeah, the nomenclature is a lot of it. Yeah, you got to yeah. learn the words. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I I yeah. might take and do like I did when I was doing tech support, take and go through and read the definition a couple of times and then find a, a, a dumbed down version, a redneck version. I'll fucking understand. Cause otherwise. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, that I love having a title, a picture and a description. Cause then mm-hmm. I can put the three together. I can triangulate the concept that's trying to be communicated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a lot easier whenever you're able to say and get all three, all three of those things together and a light bulb goes off. Okay. I get it now. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's cause I'm getting to be an old fart. Some of the stuff is like three or four times before the triangulation actually happens. Like it's supposed to, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I, we're, we're to the point where we have to unlearn some stuff so that we can learn, unlearn how we learned it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You're right about that. It, it's funny because, you know, growing up, we learned a whole different way than what kids are learning that what kids are learning these days. I'm very hands-on with stuff, but if I'm not understanding what the fuck they're talking about by hands-on, I have to take and go read the description, watch videos and then take and go through the steps and then 
see exactly how I can put it together to where it makes sense to me for what the hell's going on. Cause otherwise I'm, I'm like, well, I guess I just won't be incorporating that into my, into my shit. So. Well, some of it takes hours too, man. I mean, you gotta be focused. Yeah. You gotta yeah, be, it, it's like, it, it's like, you know, if, you, if you're going to focus on uh, building you a, 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 a drag car, you gotta you gotta have the tools. You gotta be willing to put forth the effort. Otherwise, it's gonna be a half-assed approach. Yeah, yeah, that's that's for sure. I'm sure if I'd have took and put the uh, time and effort that's needed in this YouTube channel, I could have had it a hell of a lot bigger by now. But I and also some people, dude, you know? some people have a lot of help. Like like when you got fans, like yeah. for me, my first viewer, God bless him, Joseph Stalin. He set up all my Discord for me, man. Yeah. Well, see, I, I, I've got a Discord. I just never have played around with it or looked at it to see exactly what it does, and I've never took and put any put forth any effort to get any people in there to take it so that way. Because I've got, yeah, I can get like, a Discord like, after my the phone point if there's nobody there. Exactly. But like, like Koga, Koga Ninja, he's been coming by my my channel lately. He's been a lot more mm -hmm. active. Love that guy too. He uh. He built out Twisted's Discord, and Twisted has like a few hundred people in there. So when Koga posts something, then a lot of people see it. Damn. Well, yeah. See, I know. <clears throat> I told my I, I told my wife I'm all I'm about to start treating both the YouTube and especially because I'm on for my gaming. I'm going to take and start specifically the gaming to Twitch because it's easier to take and make affiliate, and then. A little bit further down the road, partner, because it's a lot, a lot lower standards than what YouTube has, and you can still make some residual income off of it. Hey, Alan. Hey, Alan. I got an idea for you. Why don't you do Patreon on your YouTube channel as well? Because I thought you had a gaming channel for YouTube. Yeah, you were doing Patreon as well. I well, wait, wait, get, give me, give me a second. I, I'm on. I'm about to share with y'all everything that I've got, kind of, so I can ex that I'm about to take and expand out for all this because I've already got stuff that. I just haven't put time of time and effort into as, as part of the problem. Cause I've got, I'm on, I've had a Twitch account for a while, but I'm going to start, I'm going to take and do strictly the gaming with a beer, drinking a beer during the stream. Take and keep Alan's beer gaming motif. You meant um, theme. Yeah. yeah theme. Know. And then my strictly, you know, most, most of my beer stuff, is going to be here on YouTube, but I'm on, I've got both of the, I've got the Twitch and the YouTube linked. I've got a Patreon account. I've got a Twitter and I've got a, um, Instagram. So I'm about to take and start posting more to each one of those. Like as I take and do a, I do a gaming video on Twitch in the, uh, in the morning times. I'm, I'm about to take in today. I'm about to take and set it up to where I've got a template set up for my Twitter, uh, for my Instagram and my Twitter. So I can, all I got to do is basically go to it, copy paste, send it out to let people know about to take and go live. Um, and I've got to figure out something to take and do that's just going to be strictly for the Patreon. If I can get people over to take and support me on Patreon, because you've got I, different I, levels, I like you can add to that and everything of that nature. So, I mean, it's it's just know. now now that I've figured out that it's going to be a minute before I can actually go back to regular type work. This is going to be my job. This is going to be the. This is where I'm going to be putting my work into. Hey, Alan. I don't yeah. know if I'm going to join you on Patreon. I don't know. Good if idea, Alan. You, had, Alan. Alan, you. Uh, sorry, Alex. I, I just wanted okay. to Go mention ahead. Alex. Al, Alan has a a business plan. No, I got the beginnings of one. Then it, now it's once I get it in motion, it's fleshing the rest of it out. <laughs> right. And hoping, and hoping it starts to succeed a little bit. So that way, I can get some kind of residual, even if it's. You know, even if it's thirty, forty dollars a, a you know a month or something like that to take and put towards a bill, until I can get back to work. Which the other thing, <clears throat> what's the other thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking and buying some older computers, um, with some like the the i fives and uh, the i five uh, like twenty six hundred and stuff like that. I can upgrade the components and maybe put a little bit more modern of a graphics card in there that's not going to bottleneck everything so somebody can take and play something at you know 1080p low or 780 you know 720p high and take and sell that on sell those on craigslist and uh, facebook marketplace and things of that nature so i mean <clears throat> i'm about to start looking at doing that and since i do have 
tech support background, I can I can get people's computer. I can get a ride to somebody's house if they can do virus removals and uh, computer uh, uh, like so software troubleshooting and taking and doing like uh, tune ups and stuff like that. So that way they don't junk their computers and shit like that. They get more lifespan out of it. Hey, Alan, I'm hoping by the time you do that kind of stuff, I hope you'll be driving and you'll be back to your usual job. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you, Alex. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to drive again. That's, that's part of the reason why I'm kind of going all in on what I'm talking about doing. Because I'm, if I'm able to drive again, it could be a year down the road. Okay. Well, we can wait. It, 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 could, be, it, it, could, be, it could be a year down the road. It could be longer. Um, depending on what they – what they figure out, uh, depending on how weak the wall of the inner ear with the nerve and everything is that they might wind up having to take and if there's a tumor on it or something like that, they have to take and cut the damn, they have to cut the nerve and then I've relearned everything. And that could take up, that could take up to almost, uh, almost a year, but just a simple fact of, it's like I was telling the doctor today, I can walk fine. Um, I can take and look at a bunch of movement. It's, not so much the bunch of movement it's the speed that the movement's going at. Oh. Um, and it's one thing watching my kid at soccer, soccer practice as an assistant coach and even trying to take and, you know, move over to the left or right a little bit and taking and trying to kick the ball away from them. So that way, you know, you, you simulate being a defender for the, another team and trying to get the ball away from them. It's different from doing that and riding in the car doing, you know, 55, 60 miles an hour down the road and seeing, oh. you know, either trees or especially like mailboxes and stuff like that pass by. And being able to take and watch that stuff, I can't. A mailbox or two passes, dude. I'm 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 back down on my phone or I'm reading a book in the car because I I can't I can't follow it without taking and getting so dizzy. I'm I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick. <clears throat> Same way if I see a car pass, it just I mean, it messes me up. You were getting better, Alan. <clears throat> you were getting better. I mean, what I was seeing it, you were getting better. Wait, here, here's the thing. I'm I'm getting better in one aspect. I I, I can I can walk. That's that's not a problem. I, I can walk. I'm not. This is the most aggravating part to me because nine times out of ten. Going outside or taking a beat at my daughter's soccer practice, I've got no problems. Um, but I still get hit every so often with bouts of dizziness and it might last 15, 20, 25 minutes, but then it passes. It's not lasting all fucking day like it was. The other problem is, is like today going into walmart to take and get some groceries before the wife gets home everything that you see in between the people and everything that's on the shelves start out walking fine and then it feels like you're being pushed over because you've got all that stimuli and between that and then the driving it's just it's a lot to process and figure out you know try to it's frustrating because you don't know you, you think you're doing really good and then you, you take and go into the store and it's like, and it hits you. You're having, like that. Yeah, it, Bo, I, I find myself having to take and I'll start doing this and I have to take and bring myself back over. And it, it's, it's so aggravating and I'm glad it. Now I will say this compared to when I, whenever this first started happening, like I'd walk in about 150 foot and I have to take and walk out and go back to the car. I was able to walk around holding the buggy and I got dizzy by the time I left, but I've still been able to take and walk around and, you know, adjust myself as needed without taking and feeling overwhelmed. But it's still aggravating that I'm still having that issue along with not being able to take and watch a road. I idled. My in-laws live directly in front of me and my wife. We take and drive to their yard to come to our trailer <clears throat> on the back part of the property. When was the last time you yeah. drove, Alan? It was last. It was last week. I, I idled the car from their from the uh, from their front yard where the driveway starts, back to where our trailer sits. And by the time I got from up there to back where our trailer is at, probably about 150 200 yards, I had to go inside and I had to lay down. I was that dizzy. Wow. I don't know, Alan. I can't help you. I could. I could suggest keep trying. Uh, but, it's, but don't go on the road until you're completely better. Well, I know that. Trust me, that ain't gonna happen because I'm just. And, and for me, that you know, you you, from the age of 16, 17, you're able to drive. You know, driving is is it's your freedom. That's how you take and get around. That's how you get away from mom and dad. That's your freedom. 
Right. But now, you know, it's a privilege, but it's also your freedom. That's that's how you your sense of movement. That's that's your freedom. When you're no longer able to take and do that, and then you've you know, between that and then just I I like to take a window shop. I don't mind. Go, I like going in stores, looking at stuff, and then later when I get money, going back to the store and buying it. I can't even do that now. Oh. You know, I or I hadn't been able to take and do that. Take a walk in a store 150 foot and have to take and go back out to the car. Then you just it's beyond aggravating. Did you just go to Walmart today? Because I thought you just no, said- no. That's what I'm saying. That, that when I when this first started, that was that was part of the issue. I was I did a lot better today. I was still having a gangsta lean and then dizziness afterwards. It's just it's frustrating having it's frustrating not being able to take and do stuff you've taken for granted, basically. You know, because you 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 think about it. You want something, you go to the store, you buy it. Right. For the last two months, I want something. I've had to either take and make sure my wife gets it or ask the in-laws to bring it back that are taken just ordered online when i've had money right it, it's i mean i had that kind of problem years ago alan and that was the flu i i honestly i was sick i was feeling off balance i've actually was in my room they actually came in my room gave me cake and i dropped the cake because i was so off balance um this was like 10 or 15 years ago but that long, was better. So I don't know. But how long did the flu last? I don't remember. Maybe a week. I don't well, remember. See, well, see, and see, for me, that's I've had the flu, and I know what you're talking about because you know you taking everything. Everything gets fucked up when you've got the flu or something like that, and it throws everything off. And whether you you know you you just feel so bad you can't move, and whenever you do move, you feel just so you feel rotten off and off balance, rotten and off balance. It, it it throws everything off. But yeah. taking it feeling like you're, you know, halfway normal, except for the fact that you're dizzy. But also you throw in, you can't drive and everything else. It's just. It's like I told a doctor, it's one thing following a finger doing this. It's another thing following something doing 60 miles an hour past you. I just don't. But I'm not sure you, how to take and make that corrective action. But the problem with you, Alan, it's not the flu. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, what I could suggest to you to do every day, try to drive between your trailer and stuff like that. But otherwise, I, I Mm-mm. have no. Nope. I'm going to see the specialist first. I'm not, not even, I'm not even attempting to take an idle the vehicle back here until I go see the, the specialist at the hospital down here. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to break. That, that's, um, I'm sorry. Oh, no, dude. No, it's no offense taken. Trust me. I, I, I get it because. You see, you, you you see somebody that's having troubles, and you want to take and make suggestions. I understand you're trying to help, but there's no, there's no, trust me, there's no offense taken whatsoever. It's just, yeah. I, how, do you, that, how do you participate in a conversation? I mean, I'm here. Oh no, you're, I don't you're know good. what to say. I, I'm I'm just I'm letting you get it out, man. I'm letting you talk about it. I'm we're we're helping you think through it, right? I mean, yeah. it's it's a lot of like that. Yes, Jacob. Yeah, you got that, bud. You yeah. Got it. It's it's funny. My wife is like, well, you know, maybe you need to take a look up longer while you're taking a ride down the road. The doctor said that, you know, dizziness is good for you. And I said, and I have to tell her, you know, the doctor says dizziness is good for you. But as long as it's one or two levels past where you, you know, your normal baseline is for that dizziness. Once you start getting past that and you make yourself so sick that you're that you throw up or you're on the verge of throwing up, then it's then it's not beneficial no more. Then you can actually have setbacks. And that's kind of that's kind of one of the reasons why until I see the specialist, I'm not even trying to take and idle the car back here because I I didn't take and go lay down just from idling the car from the backyard to the front yard. And I just I want to see what, I want to see what he's got to take and say. Your doctor said dizziness is good for you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It, it is. It is because you you take and get to that one or two levels above your baseline of what you're you know what you're normally feeling and it takes and helps, you know, prolong how long, uh, as you go on, prolong how much you can take and do before you, you're back to normal with certain stuff again. It's one of the reasons why I'm able to take and walk without a gangster lean now. Because yeah. I had to take and I had to take and get comfortable watching a bunch of movement. There's just no two ways about that. I mean, because for a long time, when you tried to get on and hang out with us, you had to get off. Mm-hmm. Quickly. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. and, and I'll be honest with you, being a, being, me 
volunteering to be an assistant coach for my daughter's soccer team is probably the best thing I've done so far because just the amount of movement with the seven and eight year olds up and down the field and all around, you know, that right there in and of itself helped a hell of a lot because I had to take and make sure I was able to focus, watch and stay and, and not take and get dizzy and everything like that or get dizzy enough to where I had to take and either, you know, bow out or something like that. So, so that's, you could be, that you has could helped be a lot. You could be assistant coach then. That's good news. Yeah, that that's I think that's helped a whole lot, but it, it's okay. it, it's just a simple fact of the, the driving and the writing part that still is is the most frustrating part to me because it's that's that's one area of freedom I don't have anymore. Okay, and so I'm not sure when I'll get it back. So you're better a hundred percent up until the point of the driving. Okay, so okay. pretty much I like I said I still have moment. Like I said. Going into the store today, <clears throat> I, I still felt like I was being pushed over, but I was able to take and actually, I didn't have to take, well, I didn't have to take and walk out after I walked in 150 foot. So that's a, it's a huge improvement. I've still got the whole feeling like I'm being pushed over thing and have to take and correct myself while I'm pushing the buggy, but I didn't have to take and walk out the store neither. So I mean, that's improvement. Right. The it's writing, exactly you know, the writing that that's still, you know, that's, that's my main concern. I still do take and get. Moments of dizziness that last 15, 20, 25 minutes. And damn, another than that, um, 15, 25 minutes, but it's not lasting from the minute I wake up to the minute I go to bed. And okay, that was, relax. and that was a big issue whenever I, whenever this first happened, because I'd like go on Brandon's live stream and every, you know, everything was changing back and forth between people on the panel. And it was just my eyes. I was like, I've got to get off here. I can't do this no more. Well, I've you, got to go lay you, down. You got off like it was natural. Like you didn't tell us you were sick. You just said, "Okay, I got to go." Oh no, no, no! Oh no, no, no! Oh no, no! I, I would say I've, I've got to. I'd be like, I've, I've got to take and go. You know, I, I'm just, I can't. I, what well, I think what it is, I actually told Brandon one. I, I told Brandon like the second or third, and I was like, "Hey, look, you know, I, I hate to do this, but all this movement is, is causing me to where I'm dizzy. I've got to get off of here. I hate, I can't stay longer. You know, as long as I normally do, and I, that's been part of the. Another part of that, that was part of the aggravation early on because I like taking and being part of people's live streams. I like being part of people's panels. I like taking and being able to, uh, to talk to people. Yes. Yes, you do. That, and I love that. You're, but, a, you're a talkative person just like me. So, <laughs> but, the pro, but, but the problem was I just, I just couldn't figure out. So, but, but right now, the, the biggest thing for me is the whole driving. Well, yeah. Well, you know. Not and it's always good to see you come around, Alan. I mean, you know, it always cheers me up. <clears throat> now, oh, yeah. same awesome. with you, Alex. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, well, cheers, man. I, you know, I see you come around and it brings a little joy. Yeah. But, uh, Alan, I had a question. So, when you're dizzy, what happens when you close your eyes? Oh, God. Worse? Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it is, and it... I was talking with the physical therapist about that. I was like, you know, what well, actually when I get dizzy, a lot of times I'll close my eyes, but I, what I'll do is I'll use the pressure points that are here in your palms. And then at the, in the bottom of your feet, I'll take and press all of them hard against something. So that way I can get that spatial awareness just from taking and having to, okay, I've got something here, something here, something here. That's, this is, this is my anchor point. This is, you know, this, and then doing that would take and help me help that, moment pass until i could open my eyes and and not have everything you know not feel that that spinning sensation anymore mm. so <clears throat> but now <laughs> one of the things that the physical ther therapist had me do was take and stand up and i had one foot like this another foot like this she said, all right close your eyes i was like uh-uh she said no, I, I need you to close your eyes and i was like so i closed my eyes and immediately just about said bloop so I had to take and grab the underside of the table. I was like, oh, nope, this ain't going good. She's like, what's wrong? I was like, well, do you not see my hands? I was like, I'm, I'm about to fall over. I just, the spatial awareness is gone now. Which I haven't tried. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I'll, I've tried the exercises like this, but I haven't closed my eyes in a good minute while I've been doing it. Just for the simple fact of the walk. And, you know, there's only so much to hold on to when you do it in the hallway and it's a wall. <laughs> there's nobody there to catch you. <laughs> you got the whole forward and backward. Thing. Yeah, I can see that. Because, I mean, Alan, I, I, I've i gone through life like a ninja turtle. I, I have a, a, a flow. When I when I run up, I, I take stairs two at a time. 
because I it, it takes too long to go upstairs. Seriously, I run up, <laughs> but then then like I mean I'll I'll go and like I f- I flow in the the door and then all this and my drink and sometimes I get dizzy and I get butterfingers and I start smashing <laughs> and stuff and I, I mean my el- I'll I'll smash corners with my elbow man and <clears throat> I don't know if that's anything the same like what you got I mean just talking about being dizzy and trying to like, sometimes I got to stop and get my bearings. Yeah. It's a similar sensation. It's, it's probably more pronounced, but it's a very similar. It's a very, very similar thing. I have to take a stop. That's why you grab things. So you can, yeah, yeah. you got getting that spatial awareness and getting the the reacquainted where, wherever things at. So you, your brain kind Mm -hmm. of processes everything. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab me a beer. Okay. Cheers. Hey, J- hey Jacob. It could How be, you doing? When you get dizzy, Jacob, it could be the weather, too. Because sometimes it gets warm and it's cold. I don't know. But Yeah, Alex, barometric pressure has a big effect on people, I think. Yeah, because there's yeah. Like, like years ago when I was in school, I didn't get dizzy. But when, as I, when I graduated, for some reason... Every now and then I'll get dizzy, so maybe it is the weather. I don't know. I don't get huh. dizzy. As, I don't get dizzy as much anymore. But when I do, I lay down, I close my eyes, and and I'm fine. But I, when it first happened, I panicked because that <laughs> never happened to me before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, I don't like health problems, man. They, you know. I'm not saying it's a health problem, but I guess <clears throat> it is. I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I should I should have came became a medical doctor or something, but I'm not real good around blood and injuries and stuff. Well, that's one that's one of the reasons why I couldn't be an EMT. I couldn't imagine going up on some of the crash sites that you see for vehicles and some of the. Uh-huh. Hey, you, Jacob, you should stick up to your stick up with your stones because those are much better than taking care of blood. <laughs> no, well, you know, I bloom where I'm planted. Drunken one, you get dizzy after the uh, second thirty pack. I, I I couldn't imagine why, Bubba. That's um. <laughs> Cheers, drunken one. Thanks for the video, man. Can't wait to uh, see how it, how they do. Yeah, I seen the 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 garden pictures he posted in the uh, group chat yesterday between him and Jamie, the mom. Yeah, I also noticed in the video he mentioned that he put both bottles in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a do- that's a double dose. Which actually, uh, I put a twelfth of a bottle on my strawberries, and they're fine. So, nice. Yeah, I I, I think he I think he's got plenty on them peppers. <laughs> we ought to we ought to see something, something. They ought to. They ought to perk up anyway. My strawberry, my dude, my raspberries, my freaking rhubarb is huge, and my nice. rhubarb thinks it's July. See, I'm I'm jealous. I can't, I can't. I can't grow shit. Oh, I've tried, dude. I've tried growing uh, pepper plants before. Of course, it might be due to the kind of pepper plants I tried growing, but I've tried growing pepper plants before and. The first year, I got like six or seven peppers off of it. I was like, all right, good. The next year, I, I tried entering it and everything like that. The next year, I don't know. Hmm. But I tried planting more, and every one of those died. And I was like, what the hell's going on here? Hey, huh. Jacob, Hey Jacob, did you ever send any uh, stones to Alan to try things out for him or no? You know, I, let me tell you what happened, Alex, is Alan came into my chats and com- complimented my uh, beard, beard scratcher. Yeah. So I said, all right, I'll send you a beard scratcher, Alan. And what he did is he 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 told like I've had people and much love to everybody. They they're like, Hey, let me pay you some shipping. Come on, let me pay you some shipping. And I don't know how to handle that. Like, all right, give me some shipping. Whatever however. Well, <laughs> Alan actually said, Hey, uh, give me your PayPal and I'll donate. So what I did is I took the time to figure out PayPal and I put it on my site, which I should have been doing anyway, but he gave me a reason to do it. So what I did for Alan is I put a special drop down for his and hers beard scratchers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so so Alan, 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 uh, Alan bought his and hers beard scratchers 
And I also threw in the original prototype Ghost Man action figures. Mm -hmm. Nice. Collectibles. And uh, what, uh, what else? Did I put did I put and, one and or two one or two bottles of put, powder. You, and, you put one and, of the uh, bottles of powder in there, and and you took and put a uh, the peridot. Yeah, I, I the, cut the a peridot. gem. I, I grabbed a yeah. piece, and I was like, "Let's see how this turns out." And it was beautiful, Alan. It went yeah. it went together. Al Alex, I cut this stone in like twenty minutes. Oh. Some stones take me a couple hours, and and they're they're bitches. This of stone course. just. It was like that. It was done. It was so beautiful. I was like, man, if I don't get this in the mail right away, I'm going to come up with a reason to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't God. even know it's You're coming. You know? You're You're so I, I got it in the mail and uh, sent it on out. It's I, I like it. It's cool. If I'm, not mis if I'm not mistaken, it, it was like two weeks after I got the uh, beard scratchers in. I think I took an actually showcase them in the video and uh, and thank you for all of it too and i'll still it, they're on top of my um i've got them still in i keep them in the in the box that they were shipped in the red box awesome. that they come in and i keep okay. them on top of my uh nightstand or, or the the dresser in the bedroom and then about once or twice a week i'll pull them out and i'll take and just kind of get this thing all looking nice and pretty like and then i'll put them back up there so that way they're up there when i need them cool <laughs> so that's cool hey, you made jacob, a video i gotta see that how did i not how did i miss that hey jacob do you sell your stones or you just um you know give out to your friends and stuff yeah i i i've sold a couple of them i took them to the old uh vendor fair and sold a couple there and uh and you have I some saw, on amazon don't you i believe you have some stuff on amazon don't you i i don't have any gems on amazon He's got the 22 powder on there, though. Yeah, I have the gem powder on Amazon. It's on Prime. Um, yeah. I'm out of stock right now. Sold all my last bottles, but I just shipped some new stock out yesterday. Nice. And it should be back in uh, Amazon's Prime stock uh, in the next day or two. Awesome. Um, but as far as gems go, the only gems that are on a shelf right now are at the Botanical Center. I gave them like 12 or 15 gemstones and... They put them in their gift shop. Nice. Yeah. So that's exciting. I hope you come famous, Jacob, to the point that there'll be a movie about you. <laughs> I'm not joking. Oh, by the time that happens, I'll be so old. They'll have to have somebody <laughs> else to star me. Yep. Well, no, well, someone else would play you because I, don't <clears throat> know you would, I mean, you could be a good actor. I don't know. But most of the time, they would ask someone else to play you anyway, unless you want to do that. <laughs> Actually, that would be pretty cool to see somebody else play the me. It'd be exciting. Oh. Now, <laughs> how would they get your face, though, Jacob? Like, now, I got to say, I do actually have a movie that I starred in. It's a Mortal Kombat movie that we shot with one of them old school VHS camcorders when I was probably about nine. <laughs> costumes scripts the whole awesome. bit sets was actual, everything was, was an actual pit, movie was an actual it, movie. Is a, it sounds like a home movie but that sounds <laughs> it's a home movie it's a it's That's about awesome. it's about four or five minutes of uh fight scenes and you can't barely hear the audio and we used a, a car jack okay follow me on this had the rope and the thing, and Scorpion stabbed Baraka. <laughs> pulled him over and uppercut him, right? But Baraka wasn't, wasn't standing for it. So Baraka did his finishing move. And we used the jack to lower Scorpion on the blade. <laughs> so you release the jack, and he lowers down. Oh, it was freaking... <laughs> That's awesome. That hey, Jacob, is awesome. Do you, have, do you have that movie still so I could take a look at it on here or no? I have it. I have there it. There you go, Jacob. I actually, I converted it too. I have it in digital format, but I haven't posted it. I need that, to post it yeah, so I can get some it. views because the Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out. Oh, dude, you're gonna take that. That's gonna go viral. That'll go viral. Yeah, but <laughs> I can see it now. About, listen, we're talking about 13 years ago here. He was nine years old. We're not talking about now, are we? I mean, oh, uh, dude, 20 years ago, man. Oh, Friggin 20. Wow. Like 90s. Oh, nice! Yeah, early ninety, like twenty-five years ago. <laughs> How old are you, Jacob? Because you're probably 36. my age then. You're my age then, probably. I'm thirty-six. Oh, so you're two years older than me. Yep. Well, see, now I'm I don't. Man, now Jacob. I don't. Now I don't feel so old. <laughs> so I'm thirty-six. <laughs> 
Jacob. You're so I got the hat on. <laughs> oh, cheers, guys. Should I should I go for Flacco style? Hey, you're perfect. <laughs> hey, Jacob, when you do a YouTube, when you when we do live streams again, <coughs> I think we should call a live stream called Hat Day. Well, I'm not gonna wear a hat, but hat. Well, day then there's no reason to do a Hat Day. You have to do the hat too, or you, you gotta to wear a hat, hat too. Yeah, yeah. Actually, there's some stream where they do hat hat hangouts. Oh, I was gonna go in there and and take some time and hang out, but I'm always over on the plant streams and stuff. Like like this other day, I was on a plant stream, not a medical marijuana stream. <laughs> okay, I was on a plant stream and uh, I was talking to my family garden. And Mrs. Green Thumb and some other folks and I and we were talking about strawberries and I was like, hey, I had this strawberry shoot out 10 runners and then I gave the pattern it shot out because it shot out seven runners off of each other and then one of them shot out two more times. So or three or yeah, I don't know. It, it was 10, 10 shots. So Damn. and I was like, is that normal? And they were like, that's impressive. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, Jacob, I liked when you playing the captain the other night. That was funny. Yeah, I got a lot of hats, man. I'm going to break some more out. Hats seem to go over pretty well on the stream. Do you, like, have, you know. do you have police hat? Do you have police hats too, Jacob? <laughs> no, I should get some, though. I actually should comb my hair and get a haircut and all that, but oh. I'm so busy. <laughs> I was get. hey, you know what? I'll tell you guys what I did is I just spent a little bit of money. I ordered some tires. Nice for your car. Ooh. Yeah, some seventy thousand mile Uniroyals. Nice. Got them tiger paws on the way. Yeah, they're gonna be nice. I, I like I like I like driving on new tires. I, I I buy them one at a time. When one goes bad, <laughs> replace it. <laughs> yep. I know what you mean, Alan. I know what you mean. That's why I, that's why I'm so excited. I'm I'm scoring I would... all four. I would be too. My whole stream would be nothing about be nothing but, but the uh, fifty dollar piece tires I buy from Walmart. I got a whole set this time, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it's exciting. You know <clears throat> what I mean? It's like yeah. Well, it's like putting a new pair of skips on your vehicle. It's a new pair of shoes. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's exactly. like if you used to buy a pair of Jordans for yourself, you got your vehicle a new pair of skips. It's exactly the in, in the, the same thing. Yeah, I should get some hubcaps that look like the Converse logo. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Taylors. Exactly. Oh, My vehicle's got got the Chucks. What you what you sporting over there? I have to have spinning Chucks. Hey Alan. <laughs> hey Alan, is your kids coming home anytime soon, bud? Or uh, it'll be about three o'clock before they get home. So here in about another 30, 45 minutes, I'm gonna take and do the stream and then I'm gonna get off and do some dishes and I've become oh. quite the Mr. Mom. It's only one fifteen, so yeah, yeah. We, only, we do have an hour or so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've become quite the Mister Mom. I've got everything. I've actually got to feed guinea pigs too, so I have to get off of here in about yeah about an hour, taking feed guinea pigs, taking start doing some dishes and. What do you mean guinea pigs? Now, now this is a life I don't know about you, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I've got a dog out in the yard. We've got like three or four cats that just kind of. Well, we had. We had a cat we put out in the yard. My in-laws had a cat. They put theirs out in the yard. Both of them become pregnant. We've got like, between the two of us, we've got like 30 cats out in the yard now. It's crazy. Yeah, because you Oh, excuse me. We had like 30 cats. They've all started disappearing some here and there and everywhere. So we've oh. got like two cats to stay in our yard, and they've got like two or three cats in their yard. But we've got cats. We've got a dog outside that we've got a, uh, that we keep in a, one of those 20 by 20 pins. And then we've got the cat in here, and we've got two guinea pigs. Oh, so you're not joking. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got a nice family going on, Alan. You got, got a, a whole you got the whole I got a fucking zoo. All I'm missing is a goat <laughs> and a fucking cow. Oh no, no, no. You're missing a horse too, Alan. You're missing a horse. No, no, horse. I've got t I've got two kids and myself who eat like a horse, so we're good on that front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'll tell you what I, I'll tell you right now one of the, one of the craziest things that I, I found out since I've had all this stuff going on is your sleep schedule gets fucked up you wind up staying up later at night you wind up staying up late at night you think you get hungry throughout the day 
homie, there ain't nothing like motherfucking two o'clock in the morning hungry. I'm telling you right now, you can eat at nine o'clock. You can eat at eight o'clock at night. Have a big ass fucking dinner too. I mean, you could have a plate, you know, two plates full of stuff. Two o'clock in the morning comes around, you still up? Uh, oh, dude, you're, you'll eat yourself out of house and home. Can I ask you something, Alan? Were you like this when you were still working, or this all happened after the fact? After the fact. Oh, okay. So yeah. you were not, you weren't eating at mid at. at oh early. hell no! Okay. I was asleep because I had to take and be up at five o'clock in the morning. Oh okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I've just, I've just about ate us out of house and home a couple of times. Wow. Luckily, we still had tax money. <laughs> Alan, you're bad. You know what? Now, Alan, it's a good thing we don't hang out together in real life because I think me and you, we would eat a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like, if you like Italian food or Mexican food, we definitely eat a lot. Because um, I, I could eat you, my weight in either too. I think you should know me by now, Alan. I am Italian. I love my spaghetti. I love my meatballs. Yep, pasta and tacos. I, I about yeah. to say I, I like spaghetti. I do, but I, I, I love me some chicken parmigiana or some fucking chicken alfredo. That stuff's banging too. That stuff is that's, good as well. That oh. right. I took and went out of town for uh, the company I work for. I went out of town to uh, North Carolina, and Bowie, it was just about out. In the, there wasn't a whole lot by us. We had a gas station in front of the hotel. We had an Italian restaurant in front. And then across the road on the other side of the hotel, there's a Mexican restaurant and something else. I thought, well, the Italian restaurant's right there. You walk in, it looks like old, uh, old, old town, uh, Italy. I mean, it's the old, you know, the white stucco walls, it's nice, you know, winery type paintings and stuff like that. The Tuscany type paint, you know, the, the paintings of like Tuscany and stuff like oh, that. Oh, like frescoes. Oh, Where yeah, dude, it? it was. Yeah, but I took an order the chick the chicken parmigiano. I, oh, you learned you to put that on top of your head, your tongue would have beat your brains out trying to get to it. I kid you not. I mean, it was that damn good. <laughs> oh, I mean, chicken parm, <laughs> man, that's that's just that's classic. Hey, Alan, chicken and cheese, but I mean chicken parm. If, hey, Alan, if you ever come here and visit me, we have a lot. I have a lot of pizza stuff around here, pizza places. So you would be in heaven here because the pizza what? place is, I mean. <laughs> was the parm in the chicken? No, the, the parm was actually on top of the chicken, but the way they had it breaded and everything like that was, and then they had it sitting on oh. some noodles with a, with a mar, uh, marinara sauce. Mm. Oh, I mean, that was just, oh my, making... and it was a homemade sauce too, because it wasn't quite oh. as sweet as the sauces that you can get that, you know, that. American style sauces. It wasn't quite as sweet, but it was flavorful. Mm. Oh my god! I was hey, like, Alan, "Olive you're Garden, eat your heart out." You're making me hungry, Alan. This is uh. now. You you start talking about pizza. Let me ask you a question. The, the places that you're talking about, they start are they specialize in like the thin crust type pizzas, like a lot of the Italian restaurants and stuff like that. Um, Tacanelli's does. I don't know if you ever heard of that place, but uh -uh. that. That has a thin pizza. You would like that. Because um, obviously, I guess that means it's original pizza, I'm assuming. I don't know. Well, I know I know there's differences. You know, a lot of, I know a lot of play, a lot of Italian pizzas, uh, you know, authentic Italian is like, they're a lot, they're a lot, a lot of them are like thinner crust, unless they take and do like just a one or two hand toss or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you got that little bit thicker crust yep. on it. Yep. But the, I think the way that the crunch on, on the thin crust pizzas, Depending on what toppings you get on it, oh man! And, and yeah. if they take and do the marinara sauce right on it, that that right there with the crust is just oh my god! Well, like I said, my town is Pizza City in my book because you can go anywhere on Main Street and you can find pizza. So if you ever hang out with me here, you will find a lot of pizza if you love pizza. I mean, so <laughs> it's basically pizza heaven. Just about anything Italian, I'll take it and scarf down. I, I'm not gonna lie, if, I, I I think I was. I know my step, my dad, one of one of our uh, our cousin, yeah, he took and did our family history all the way back to like old England. Like we found out, we fit, oh. we he found out we're like very distant relate, distantly related to um Princess Di and Prince Harry and William and all that good shit. Wait a minute, on wait my a minute, dad's wait. side, but. Wait a minute. You're um, you're related to the royal dude. This family. is like very wow. dist, very distantly related. So, 
But um, <clears throat> so I know that's on my dad's side. Oh. So we come from England, Wales, wherever, somewhere over there. You know, we're in that area. So, I, but the way I love Italian food, I'm like, you know, there's got to be some Italians somewhere, some, you know, some way. I do know on my mom's side, I think it's funny. Elizabeth Warren was claiming she, you know, she took and got her position at the college she teaches at for uh, being, you know, part Indian or whatever, part Cherokee. Hold or on, like Alan. That. I have to answer my phone. Off. But yeah, once he comes back, oh. I'll take and get back into it. But, uh, you know, okay. she part Cherokee or whatever. And it was like one one thousandth of a percent. My great 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 grandmother was full blooded Cherokee. So I if I wanted to, I could probably get an indigenous people's fucking scholarship if I wanted to, but fuck all that. Yeah. I'm not gonna take advantage where it doesn't need to be, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's actually living on a reservation needs to be taking advantage of something like that. That's the way I look at it. There you go. Yeah. I keep a it's funny, I keep a year round tan. My wife has been in the sun more than I have this year, and she's like, I'm almost where you're at. And I'm I've been inside for since February, just about. So she says, I'm almost as dark as you. I <laughs> take and get out in the sun. I'll I look almost Mexican. I worked at a uh, job uh taking and doing scaffolding, and I had and it was glove hands. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I had, been no, I've been working. Out. It's raining outside today, so I got the day off. I got you. You mainly do, work out your garden and stuff like that. No, I've been landscaping. I, oh. I do a lot of handy handy work and stuff, but I got I got some contracts that that keep me busy. But then I, I fill it in. I, I got know. you. I got you. Sorry, uh, Alan. Go ahead, bud. Well, I was telling Jacob that, you know, Elizabeth Warren, she took and started, you know, she got her teaching position, I think Duke or North Carolina or something like that, indigenous people studies or some shit, because she, she claimed, you know, she was of Cherokee descent. They took and she did the whole DNA thing and it come back one one thousandth of a percent Cherokee. On my mom's side, my great, great, like, it's like my great, great, great. So three generations removed. Grandmother was full blooded Cherokee. So. I keep a tan year round for the most, my wife has been in the sun more than I have this year. And she's come up, she come up the other night and she put her arm out and she says, I'm almost as dark as you. <laughs> I've been inside since February. Normally at this point in time of the year, I look like a Mexican, not even going to lie. I look, I look Latino. I, I, I get that dark. Um, I was telling Jacob, I, I worked at a uh, company doing scaffolding and a lot of the people that work there, the, the labor people and a lot of our scaffolding crew were, Mexican or Guatemalan, you know, they were of Latino descent. And I had a guy come up to me talking about speaking Spanish, talking about needing to move a ladder. And the only reason why I know he was talking about moving a ladder because he said Escalada, which is ladder. Uh -oh. Somebody speaks Spanish. And he was like, Oh, my bad, my bad. You're not, you, you don't speak Spanish and you don't speak Spanish. You're you, you dark enough. I was like, Sorry. <laughs> I was like, Don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> So if that tells you any, any any clue of how dark I get once the, once the sun starts coming out on top of my natural tan. The crazy thing is my sister gets even darker. My my sister her 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 granddad's um, grandparents are from Spain. My mom being from my mom's you know three we're three generations removed basically from a full Cherokee. Um, princess, the was she's a full Cherokee princess that uh, our great great grandfather took. Uh oh, you cut out, Alan. Hey, grandfather, then he cut out. I fixed something wrong with his computer. Can you hear me now? We can I can hear now. you now. You cut out yep. a great grandfather, yeah, between the great great uh, great great. Great grandfather and grandmother, with the grandmother being a full blooded, uh, she was a Cherokee princess. And then my sister's great great grandfather, being from uh, Spain, she gets she stays darker than I do, and she gets way darker than I do. Like she'd be like, Oh, yeah, I don't, I need to take and go out and get a tan, and it'd be February. And I'm like, Shut up. I'm like, You've got like, you've got, you've got like May tan for me. Shut up. 
Yeah, you got to watch that tannin too. I mean, if you try and tan in a bed too much, you can get that uh, mm -hmm. melanoma. Yep, you get that leathery look to you too. Look, mommy, it's a belt walking around. <laughs> yeah, what was what's her uh, tan, mom? Mm-hmm. Always think it, always think it's funny looking at people that you know have been either been in tanned beds or they stayed on the beach just a little bit too long throughout their yeah. entire life, and they look like basically an old wine flask walking around. Yeah. You ever Sorry. see that? That reminds me. Have you ever seen that video of the lady stealing rhubarb? No. Oh, watch it. A, a lady stealing rhubarb? Yeah, look up. Crazy lady steals rhubarb. Watch it. Yeah. I have, to, I have to ask you. I've never had rhubarb. What exactly does that taste like? Um... It's kind of like a more tart version of strawberries. It can be a little much by itself, but let me let me feed it down uh, so you have an example. Because it's like it's almost like too much. Like or, all right, you know those sugary crystals on the worms. Yeah, the, the gummy worms. Okay. Yeah. So let me dial it back. If you make like rhubarb crisp, mm -hmm. and it's it's kind of like it's got that spruceal topping, but you mix in oats. So the oats will cancel out the tartness. So you get the oat, then you get the tart, then you get the oat. Now, another thing that people will do is they'll make like a cherry rhubarb or strawberry rhubarb, and that'll dope it down a little bit. Oh, it's good. It's delicious, man. Nice. See? Yeah, but I'll you got to you gotta see that because she's like, she's like, this is community property. And she's like, no, this is my house. And the other lady's like, this is community property, bitch. Mind your own business. Huh. She's like, she's like, no, this is my place, sweetheart. And she's like, don't call me sweetheart, honey bunch. Where are you, fucking muzzy? Oh, it's it's, dude. It's a video. Conan O'Brien even did a, a parody of it, where Andy dressed up as the lady and started stealing his rhubarb. Awesome. Um, acid burn. What is up, buddy? It's nice to see you back in here. If you want to take and join the um, panel. Um, I can send you the link, man. Yeah, cheers. Welcome to the chats. He um I actually the last time I was in um the last time I was uh I did the uh the magic the gathering uh gaming stream, he actually took and uh sent me a give me his screw uh his username and took and did a uh did a direct challenge and took and played him on stream and everything like that. So um, okay. No str no stream today, Acid Burn, um, as far as Magic the Gathering is concerned. Um, I think I'm going to take and wind up moving most of my gaming over to Twitch. Um, I'm still going to be taking and doing streaming on here, but it's mostly be, be concerted on. And I say that I, there is a website I'm going to be checking tonight that will allow you to take and stream to two places at once. And depending on how much it costs, I'm going to try to take and do... Um, I'm going to try to take and see how much it costs. And if I can take and do a whole year of it at one time, pay for a whole year at one time. So that way I can dual stream to like YouTube and uh, Twitch if possible. So, um, but I'll take and I'll, I'll have something out about that if, if that's possible, but I'm, I'm going to be taking and doing uh, 930 in the morning to one o'clock afternoons. I'll be doing live streams for the gaming on Twitch and then 10 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock. I'm going to be doing uh, live streams on YouTube with, with panels and beer reviews and stuff like that. So you're going to make um, me get a Twitch account, aren't you? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm once, like I said, I, I checked that uh, when I check that out and if I can take and get it to where, if it's, if it's feasible for me to take and pay, it's like 60 bucks for a year. I'm going to take, I'll go on ahead and pay that. So that way I can dual stream it to YouTube and to um, Twitch. That's that's what I'm gonna take and do. So that way I've got people. It's that deck is faster. That's that dude. You're not even right. I mean that's that's not that's not nice. You had me like for real. Did you add Ashiok to it? Because if you added Ashiok to it. That's just nasty and it's wrong and it's just ugh. I don't. I'm not gonna be playing you against that deck again. I promise you because you just you embarrassed me. Not even gonna lie, you killed me, you embarrassed me. That's just a nasty, nasty deck. Actually, I hope you didn't add Obelisk to or o Obsolisk or whatever his name is. He 
because with the set with the draw in the seven cards with the emergency powers, that's he deals one damage for every time you take every time your opponent draws a card. That's that you're gonna take life down. Like I mean, just you're gonna kill people. You you, you use emergency powers twice and your opponent's dead. So you add that. I just I yeah, that's just too nasty. Like you've got one of those decks that's just like. Anybody that plays against it, they're like, man, I'm not going to play no more today. It's that kind of deck. You took out the emergency power. Oh, my God. I don't even... Oh, I'll have to take and do a direct challenge next time just so I can see what it does and then everybody can laugh at me for losing that bad. But, you know, that's, that's interesting. Dude, he... Oh, my God. Like that stream that me and him took and did, I we did a direct challenge. Like he took and had me. I think it was a fifteen minute match, whereas normally the matches I played can last a little bit, if even fifteen minutes. I mean, he had me down. He completely removed all the cards from my deck, like that. Just I had nothing I could do, so it's nasty. I know a little bit of that. I played uh, Final Fantasy twelve. Final Fantasy 12. I'm wanting to take and get Final Fantasy 12 Zodiac Age. I know it's coming out soon. Actually, I need to check Steam, see if it's not out on Steam already, because if it is, I might take and uh, get that and start streaming that. Yeah, actually, 15, I saw it was kind of interesting. I think it's available on Steam, but I didn't really understand, and I don't I'll know, because be I... I played some of the other Final Fantasies, and I guess they 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 made twelve different, and then they were trying to get away from how they made it. And I'm like, why? Yeah, because the original twelve on the PlayStation Two was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I thought I mean, that was one of the better ones they had made. Everybody, and this is saying it gets me. Everybody swears by Final Fantasy Seven. It's a good game. Granted, it's a really good game. My favorite out of the whole series is Final Fantasy IX because you got the card game, you got real in depth, you got all the chocobo races, you got the treasure, you know, you got the tr the, the, the the treasures you can find uh, and everything like that. So it's just so in depth and it's so engrossing. However, Final Fantasy XII, just the way they took and they changed the combat system and everything like that, mm. the way the story plays out. I mean, it's it kept you hooked the whole time you played it. Um, yeah, same. dude, I played I played hundreds of hours. Hundreds. I maxed I maxed out all of my characters in the top of the great crystal by casting rays on the undead. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, I just ran around. Raise, uh -huh. raise, raise, <laughs> and they're all dead. Raise, raise. And I got so much XP, I had the double XP accessory and you know, so I had this crew where all of them are maxed, level 99s. And then I go, and you can only, you got six people, but you can only have three out at a time. Mm -hmm. But then you get a guest, and the guest reflects the rating of your characters. So I went and got the fourth person at level 99, so running around with four 99s. <laughs> and at the head point, the game's pointless. Cause, yeah, because you're killing everything in one fucking swipe. Right, so then I, I, when I play again, just to, just to make it a little more challenging... <laughs> <laughs> See, Acid Burn, I never played Final Fantasy. Well, I'll say that. I I played Final Fantasy XI on when it released it for the original Xbox. Maybe it was PlayStation 3. But it was like in the early days of around here out in the bumpkin country, we were just getting DSL. So your, your internet connection wasn't that great and everything was so slow. I couldn't really get into it. Final mm -hmm. Fantasy fourteen. Um, if it if it didn't have a monthly subscription for to take and play it as an MMO, I would take and I would be playing it because I've I had that for almost a year on PlayStation Four, and I loved it. Like I I had a character at uh, cap level before they took or the level cap before they come out with the expansion, and I Final Fantasy fourteen is an awesome MMO. It's just I'm not paying ten dollars a month for a, a fucking MMO subscription price and just not doing it at this point in time in my life i'm already taking and paying however much money for my fucking xbox live so my kids can play on that shit plus my playstation <laughs> network dude 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 that is that is a future of business subscriptions 
Yeah, man, if they can, if they can get you to to just pay an extra month without thinking about it, because you got to go through the work of stopping it. That's why, man, I am so tight with my accounts. I have an account that I use to buy things, and I keep that account under a hundred dollars unless I'm going to buy something that's over a hundred dollars. Well, I've told my wife we need to take and go get one of those, like those green, the, the the green Visa cards, the cash cards that you can take and get or whatever from um, Walmart. I told us we need to take and put like a hundred and fifty dollars on it and take and. Uh, use that for every one of our subscription services like our hulu or netflix and shit like that they're like three dollars a month to maintain unless you uh, reload it with uh, oh it's this complicated thing but, oh yeah, yeah it's a pain in the ass but if, it, it, I about mean, once a month take and put about six you know thirty dollars on it just take and keep your balance to where you don't take and have to worry talk about to it a and local bank and get get one of them uh uh free checking accounts for that that's what i did yeah well, see, and I mean, I keep that thing down around three bucks, but you know that they, they don't care. Well, see, I, I'm I'm poor enough that, that we've got the free checking account. And that's how we pay everything, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, my, it, I, I I try to I try to separate the savings and the checking, but then sometimes it's like there's nothing to save. <laughs> Oh, see, so, see, see, you you high dollar already. You got savings I'm still account. Here, we Alan, just let you know. I'm well, just. For the long, you're good, Alex. I, I got you, man. You, if you got something going on in the background, you're cool, dude. Whenever you're able to jump back on, I just jump back on, Bubba. Right, Simple man. as that. I'm just um, you know, Bubba. For the longest, I, I'm be honest. For the longest time, my wife has been. She's been a homemaker. She's been. She took care of the kids. That taking and working two jobs around here, and until she started doing college for accounting, the only type of job she, she'd have found, basically, she'd have been taking and. Uh, using her paychecks for childcare around here. And I was like, there's no fucking sense in that. So just stay at home, make sure the house is, you know, clean and, you know, there's dinner or whatever by the time, you know, dinner mm -hmm. needs to be done. And I was sole breadwinner. Well, now that that role has kind of changed. And here shortly, they're going to be making her full time. I've still got, I just had my first short term disability check come in. Um, yeah, if you want to, do I'll, I'll take and I'll, I'll put the link real quick so you can join. Um, we'll get to know you a little bit. You can chit chat with us, Acid. We'll get to know your real name. Um, but I've uh, what was it? Yesterday, my first short-term disability check come in. The day it finally cleared. Uh, next week, I'll be getting one. So next next Monday, I should be taking and be able to. to put that in but like i said between the twitch and what i'm you know between the twitch youtube and i'm gonna start putting the <clears throat> affiliate stuff and all that and, and some of the stuff too just so i can you know protect type stuff just so i can maybe take and get something coming in as far as that's concerned and whatever i can get as far as either fixing up old com uh, cleaning up old computers and uh, uh, upgrading them a little bit or taking and doing like virus removals and software installs or uninstalls and fixing people's computers and shit like that. And so I can find me a different job. Uh, because I have a feeling that's what's going to have to wind up happening here. Um, you know, I, we haven't really been able to take and get savings. So once I can start getting everything rolling a little bit, uh, we're going to use my checks or what I, what I bring in basically to take and put back as savings. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get a savings going. I mean, something seems to come up and just soak it up. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and see, that's always to... that's always been and that's always been our problem because I, the cost of living around here is not that high, and I've had jobs making fifteen, sixteen dollars an hour. But once you take and factor in bills and groceries and taking and getting, you know, whatever for kids as far as you know, whether it be clothes or diapers and everything of that nature. I mean, it just eats to whatever you want to take and put back, you know, and, and that's been the most frustrating thing. But now that she's actually, she's actually got a job that relates to what she's going to school for. And once I'm able to take and get everything rolling and take and get a couple computers in and taking and fixing people's stuff, it's going to, I think it'll take and be a lot more fruitful for us, so to speak, because just off 
in the next week or two, once she's fully trained, they're moving her to full time. She's she's making like ten dollars an hour, and if I can bring in a hundred and twenty dollars a week, I mean it, that right there is gonna be more. That's gonna be bringing in more than, uh, per week than what I was on a weekly basis because between insurance and child support and everything else, I was bringing in three hundred and something dollars a week. We could take the hundred dollars out for child support. We'd still be making more throughout the week if I can if I can between with the computer work, especially until the Twitch stuff really starts, if I can get that rolling like I want to. And, and we had to take and do fairly decent, I think. You'll be all right, Alan. I think so. Yeah. I think so. And, and I'll be honest with you, if I can get the computer stuff halfway decently rolling, where I can start bringing in two or $300 a week, just taking and doing, you know, small type computer work. I probably won't take and go back to the other job just because I'll be able to work for myself and we'll be able to take and make a decent, decent enough living to where I'm back. We won't have to worry about, worry about stuff. Come by the channel. I'll give you shout outs, man. Sure. I will. (laughs) I'm back. Whatever I can do to help, man. I'll, I'll, I'll help you. I've been helping the general get up to, uh, almost thousand subscribers. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this- General Boom Doom is great, man. If you don't subscribe to him, subscribe to him because I'm trying to get him up to this. <laughs> he's, at, he's, at like, he's at like 965 or 970, and he did a, a voiceover for my Kickstarter commercial. Gave me a one-day turnaround on the script. Only had two errors, and uh, I bought it. He didn't. He did it for free, but after that, I bought him Cod Blops 4. Huh. And so, yeah, he was excited about that. Wait, cause... wait, 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 wait. You got a Kickstarter going on? Yeah, it's about to launch. I okay. should be working on it now. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go grab another beer and you can tell me all about the Kickstarter. Okay. Yeah, and, I'm back. and then you can tell me about the different, you know, if there's different tiers to it and stuff like that. Because I just got $1,800 in. So once you started, if I've got some money left over, I can kind of, you know, maybe add something to it. Hey, Alan, I'm back. All right. What'd you say, Alex? I'm back. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? Doing good, doing good. So, Alan, I'm not Alan, Jacob. I'm surprised you're not working, my man. Doing what? I said I'm surprised Rain. you're not. I'm, I'm surprised you're not working. It's raining, and I just finished a, a big job last week. Um, I need to actually get out there and do some stuff, but I actually need to do a lot of stuff in here. That's why I'm doing some laundry and cleaning, got my cleaning hat on. I got to go do some laundry, but I'm also replying to some people on Facebook here. And, uh, nice. Yeah. I still got to plan get, everything I... out. Got to do the food for stuff, talking to some gal about gems and all that. Nice. Yeah. I wish you luck. I think your business will do well. Well, thanks, right. Alan. So, Alex, so, thanks. so what's the uh, what's the Kickstarter for? What, what what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, the plant powder in the new two ounce bottle. I did the plant powder before, and I got two orders, and one of them was fantastic. It was from a person who read the thing and ordered it and i i sent them the best dang gemstone i've ever cut in my life <laughs> it's probably like a couple hundred dollar gem and uh uh i'm happy i'm ha- i'm glad i did that because they actually paid 25 dollars for one bottle and i sent them two bottles plus the gem now the other person bless them ordered a bottle with the uh domestic shipping and uh, then told me they live in Israel. Ooh. Yeah. So I was like, uh, how are we going to do it? And then he was like, all right, I'll give you some more. I, I don't know if he, he was like, I, I was like, hey, you didn't fill out your survey. And he's like, well, I live in Israel. Can you still ship it to me? <laughs> <laughs> face palm like so really i mean he was just donating to the kickstarter but fact that he was in israel he so long, short story is i i i reduced the water down and i sent him a couple of bottles uh bless him too <laughs> but um he sent me back some kind of uh hebrew <clears throat> text and when i translated it in google it translated to hammer shark Oh my goodness! 
Yeah. Well, so, um, and, and I, I, it made it there. So I found out I can ship gem powder to Israel. Nice. Now, of so, that, uh, I thought, I thought, well, it's getting closer to gardening season. Cause this was last fall. This was like, I launched it. Like it ended like a day, the day after black Friday. So it was like November. Also, I featured on the main clickbait picture, a bottle and some gemstones. This time I'm featuring the comparative picture of the peppers. And instead of tagging it under technology, I'm tagging it under food. Huh? Yeah. Well, let, let me know when it goes live. So that way I'm able to take and go to it. I'll take and I'll take and donate to it or whatever. And I'll take and do a live stream and I'll take and make sure I'll take and link everything to it. So, Dude, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome. I'm, it might only be us in the live stream, but you know, I'm I'll try to help out whatever way I can because you yeah. know, any anything that takes and helps people that want to do home gardening. Because I think I'll be honest with you, our uh, I think anybody that does home gardening and, and can be you know somewhat self sufficient in that nature, and they don't have to take and use something that's laboratory grown like fucking Miracle Grow and shit like that. You know, more power to you, and any way I can, any way I can help sustain that type of stuff. Because I'll be honest with you, I, I keep talking about it, and I've never fucking done it, and I need to take and do it. But I've always wanted to take and like those five and ten gallon uh, things that you, the containers you can get from Walmart. Take and get a couple of goldfish. Take and run the, uh, take and put the pump. Take and run the. Um, it's not hydroponics, but it's similar to the hydroponics. Where basically the the nutrients from the fish waste take and feed the roots of the um of the plant. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've always wanted to take and do that. I just I've never had the time to take and start it. So what maybe that's something I'm gonna take I'll I'll look into here in the next couple this of weeks. This year, Alan, I want you to put some peppers back where they don't grow and gem them. You know what? I'll take and order some pepper seeds here in the next <clears throat> in the next couple hours and I'll take and get some stuff to actually try my whole the thing I've been wanting to do because if I can get those growing year round I'd be just nice. like to see I'd just like uh, to see you said you can't get them to Alan? grow Alan my my strawberries die every year and they they've been thriving they're freaking amazing they're impressive well see I'm also I'm not growing jalapenos I'm growing like I tried growing ghost pepper and oh, okay um, you know some of the the ultra hots gotcha. there we go Hey, Alan, Can you hear me? You? Yes, Dude, sir. Man. How are you doing today? What is your name? I know it's not Acid Burn. Jason. Jason. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Work What's up, you, Jason. Jason? I, I see. I see you're in your truck. So apparently you've dropped off a load, or uh, you loaded. Off. You're getting loaded. No, oh, I am loaded. Oh, Forty-two thousand pounds of fertilizer. Oh shit! All right. Well, just stay away from federal buildings with that. All right. Just kidding, just kidding. That's all right. All right, it's all right. Hey, Jason. You're it's not hazardous material, but if you mix it with the 200 gallons of diesel fuel that I have on board, if I happen to roll my truck over, I'm a giant rolling ball. Hey, Jason, you're a truck driver, Jason? Yep. Nice. Yeah, far out. Hey, if you got a Class A, you can get free entry into Daisy Dukes. <laughs> what is, what's Daisy Dukes? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the uh, uh, the 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 let's see, it's yeah, the it's Iowa like 80 truck me. stop, which is the world's largest truck stop. There's showers, there's a dentist, there's a truck wash, there's a they call it the truck o mat. Uh, you know, all that kind they of that movie like theater. Yeah, every truck. They have that like every. They have that at every truck stop now. You just got nowhere to look. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's the they call it the world's largest truck stop. You keep going a few miles towards the Quad Cities, and uh, there's a uh, Daisy Dukes. Well, um, I've been out here too long. I've seen enough titties and ass. <laughs> yeah, you you got those uh, unique steakhouses that you can stop at, right? Hmm. I I know in in Georgia, there's a place that it's got. It's got a parking lot and it says truckers welcome and you go in there and it's, it builds itself as a steakhouse, but you go in there and it's like, ooh. Gosh, Carla, with happy endings. Oh, yeah, there <laughs> it 
<laughs> Girls that walk to truck stop with all <clears throat> lot lizards. They Hello. give away uh, free gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes, the black plague, a little bit of anal lice, and blister dick, but it'll all screw up your weekend if you take one of the truck stop girls. <laughs> Oh, so they're they're good. They're they're girls you want to take home to mama then. Oh yeah, if you pay them extra buy, they might take out their teeth. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> this is why I don't chat with people, man. I got a trucker mouth. I don't have customer service skills. Oh dude, I'm not worried not even worried about that one bit. I'm not worried about that one bit. So you didn't like that discard dump? I took out emergency powers. And I actually the oh there's only Two discard cards in there is that enchantment, which is the one you saw. And I put in those four walls that discard four cards whenever you put it to play. Uh -huh. All the rest of it is the whole rest of the deck is nothing but control and draw with uh, jump starts. You're not even, that's not even right. That's not even, that's not cool. That's not, you know. It, yeah, you take an ad. It looks it, it gets like really fast, like on a red. I, I bet it does. I mean, you take and put two or three psychic corrosions in there, and you've got chemistry's insight, and you've got you know opt or some of these others that take it, or even pre precognitive um, precognitive something. I can't remember the last part of it, where you draw three cards and discard a card. You've got two psychic corrosions on the board. You're taking and going through eight and ten cards in a fucking just going through it like it's nothing. Well, what gets people is when I discard my hand onto that enchantment, then I draw however many cards it took away that were in my hand. Well, people try and destroy it as I do it or counter it, but the, the, I lose the cards in my hand, but the effect still takes place because it's on the stack. So if I do it for six, I might lose the six in my hand, but the effect's on the stack, so I still draw six new cards. Yeah, which is which takes and that's two cards a piece with psychic corrosion on the board, and that's yeah, I, I found that out the hard way, taking using Mortify to take that out and then having going, what the fuck? Because I had 12 cards taken, you know, 12, 12 and 14 cards taken and going into the end of my grave. Four Mortifies, and then there is, oh shit, what's the other card? It basically, you kill a creature and it only costs one white and a black, but you can either pay five life. Or sacrifice. Yeah, an I know. Card. I know exactly. I what sacrifice you're talking about. my own enchantment, get those cards back, and then have that hand in there too, and I get a full hand of cards back to destroy your brain. So. Yeah, I know exactly which card you're talking about. You sacrifice a creature or enchantment, or you pay to five life, and I, uh, I hate that card. <clears throat> I, yeah, you know that, and that deck. enchantment that you've got that playing against you was the first time I'd, I'd actually ever seen it. You took a do at it. You threw out that enchantment. I was like, "What the fuck has he got going on here?" And then all of a sudden, you got the six, your seven, you know, six or seven cards in your hand under that enchantment. And I'm like, "Well, let me get rid of that." And then I destroy it. And you've got psychic corrosion on the board. And all of a sudden, twelve of my cards are going in the graveyard. And I'm like, mm -hmm. "What?" If it gets boring to watch though, because like I'll sit here and I'll just draw and I'll draw. And you're just sitting here just discarding cards. And then, I mean, I could discard you in one turn your entire deck. So. Which I can't now without yeah. any work in the card. But yeah. I, it, it's it's not a net deck, and I try not to play. I, I actually, there's a treasure token deck that works kind of similar to that by winning by searching your outside of the game, which is basically your uh, cyborg. And you go grab a oh, God, damn black card, but if you have 10 treasure tokens, you win the game. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I got the idea for that deck by watching that net deck, so I never net deck. I'll watch it because the idea is a great deck. Well, see, I like playing, as you noticed, I like playing Esper decks a whole lot, and I looked at the net uh, decks, and I tried playing the net decks, and just the synergies didn't work the way I wanted to, and now that War of the Spark has released, <clears throat> I've actually I've actually took and added a couple of like commence the end game, the blue card where you take and draw two cards, it can't be countered, and then you amass how you you get an amass army of however many cards are in your deck. And I've got Hydroid Crisis, and I'll take and use uh, oath, uh, Kaya's Oath or something like that, where it takes and does three damage and gives you three life, and I'll take and use that as a removal. And then Kaya's Ghost Form, I'll take and use that to take keep my Teferi around. So if somebody takes it out with Vraska's Contempt, 
Well, it comes right back on the board, and I'm taking just plus one again. And but I've I've made an Esper Mill deck that uses Ashiok and then Liliana, and does Ashiok takes and mills, and then Liliana takes and the plus two, and then destroys creatures with ever, everything else I've got. <clears throat> I'm liking. I, I'm still kind of tweaking that one, but I like the way that one works because it just. People try to take and go after Ashiok, and then they'll try to take and go after Lin Liliana, and I'll take and throw out the Eldest Reborn, and take one of their shit, and it's just it's pandemonium. A lot of times, people just compete because they get tired of being aggravated. I'm trying to work on a token deck. It's basically it's four and six, four and two, right now, but it needs to work. But it, I've noticed people with playing like Esper, like Esper Control. It's basically an afterlife. It's a token afterlife deck. What I'm working on, so it basically it, it, it can recover from like mass kill or like a lot of creature control. It recovers from it with, without even trying. Like you're killing the creatures, well then the motherfucker comes right back with afterlife. Yeah, I hate those decks because you'll take <clears throat> you'll use Kaya's wrath. You'll take out the you'll take out all the all the shit that's on the board, and you've got like Seraph of Scales that's got like afterlife of two, or and, and the Oligarch that's got afterlife of one, and Orzov uh, <clears throat> Enforcer, which is an afterlife of one, and other ones are afterlife of two. You got that one card that takes and doubles whatever effect, uh, you know, the ability of the card. So if it was only supposed to be one afterlife, well, it turns it into two afterlife. It's supposed to be two afterlife, turns it into four. So then you take and go from having four cards on the board to having eight tokens on the board, and you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? Hey, well, I and that, that can be I can start dumping four, four flying life link angels. Instead of the one one I'm supposed to get, I get a four four flying lifelink angel. Oh, you're you. Oh yeah, you're using the divine uh, divine visitation to yeah. take in. Uh, oh fuck that! I hate I hate. I see that come on the board. I, I try to either mortify it or if it's thrown out, I try to use an absorb and take care of that shit because that that's a, that's a game changing card right there. That right, you take and get four cards out. They're all four fours. That's lethal. Bucket. But it doesn't revolve around that card. That's what I don't like. I don't like making a deck determined on one card. I mean, like, hey, Alan, on. is Jason your friend that works that plays in the game with you? Well, <clears throat> that last live stream I did, Jason is the one that took and um, he took and put his uh name, his username in there, or that the the information that I needed to take and do the direct challenge with. And I took and being him, uh, I did a direct challenge with him. And he completely fucking destroyed me. So oh. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there trying to take an act like hot shit. And I got embarrassed the fuck out of because his deck completely mill. I, I mean, the way magic works is once if you take and get milled down to where you have no more cards to take and pull from. Well, then the game is it's game over because you've got nothing else to take and pull. And he completely <coughs> fucked me. like he took his deck took and milled me completely the fuck down. I didn't have nothing else I could pull. My turn come around and boof, defeat. Is that who I was like, this is ain't that a bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, Alan, were you playing with Jason yesterday when we hanged out? Yeah, but yeah, that he's the one I took and he's the one I took and played with. Okay. He, I was one. trying to do that. I was what I'll do sometimes I literally will scroll YouTube looking for arena streamers. And I'll watch him and you actually weren't really doing it, but I thought oh, I'll see if I was playing anyway. So net deck and net deck and net deck and net deck and net deck. And then they're talking and blah, 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 like it's their deck and all this. I'm like, you know, all right, play me. Then they'll play me and I'll pull that out and I'll demolish them. I usually get kicked out of the stream. <laughs> That's, you know what? It, it's funny. That's, it, here's the thing. Here's the thing that gets me. You know, a lot of these, a lot of these streamers take and use fucking net decks. And, and mine is a, the one I use is mostly a fucking net deck. I've made tweaks to make it mine, but it's still technically a fucking net deck. And I'm not going to fucking. I've got ones that I've, I've home brewed, but I take in off camera. I take and work on those and I fucking tweak them until I feel like it's good enough to actually show to the world. Because of, you know, you're not going to, you don't want to take and make a deck and then be like, oh, this is my home brew. And then you take and go out and it gets fucked up. I, you know, I make the tweaks until I figure, until I feel like it's good enough to where it's. It can it can actually do some damage and might be able to take and do something. So mine, well, I'll play you again, but we'll do it where it'd be just you or something like that if you want, and I'll slow play, and I'll let you write down or copy that deck, or you'll be the only other person with that deck. 
Now I'll let you play. Huh. I'm working on building it paper, so I've actually ordered a couple of cards. And I'm going to take that deck to paper because no one else has it. Uh, see, if, hey, I Jason, could, if, if I could actually drive right now, that'd be something I'd be doing is taking and buying uh, paper cards to take and go because we've got a spot here in North Charleston called the Green Dragon that I'd actually be able to take and go to and play on uh, Friday night. I actually just about any day you go in there, you just, they've, what it is that green dragon, you walk in and you've got, you can get magic the gathering cards. You can take and get like, they've got a whole section set up where you can get white wolf fucking tabletop RPG games. You've got your, you know, dungeons and dragons, uh, different, uh, the books for that. You got, you know, all kinds of stuff and you've got trinkets and stuff like that. And then off to the side, what you've got is you've got a room you can walk into and you can either take and see if, you know, somebody is starting up a session for a role playing game that you're interested in and see if you can't join <clears throat> or they've got and they've got people that play Magic the Gathering. So and they've got dedicated nights in Magic the Gathering. And if I could drive at the moment, uh, that'd be something I'd be looking at doing. But I, I can't. Play, but it's really Kids don't really come in there. Because the way we play, we don't believe in net decks, we don't believe in early scooping, all this crap that they do nowadays. And basically, if you net deck, you're banned for life. Okay? But we play for like a thousand dollar first place prize, and we're buying in for like twenty five dollars. So, like, it's a way adult shop. It's not for like you'll know, get your local ten year old to build, you know, his can of net deck and want to come play everybody. So I've got a I've got a red white deck that I'm taking and playing with that, um, or that I'm I'm trying to take and tweak out a little bit where everything it gets real wide, real fucking quick, and can take and do lethal damage by like turn five or six. <clears throat> hey Jason, yeah, back in '95, hold on, back in '95, I used to help guys out when I would build like main decks. I would build the main deck and let them add in what they. It, and then they turn around and build them or play them online, and that's where some of the original deck decks came from. So I'm deck nice, nice. So I've been when I was in the Coast Guard. The, when I was in the Coast Guard was the first time I ever took and played Magic the Gathering, and I and I played with a borrowed deck. I had never played it before, so I was being taught. And I've played, I've played Paper Magic, and then different versions of online Magic, whether it be taking you know the games they take and release to like. PlayStation and fucking online before the fucking Magic Online where it costs nine ninety nine for the subscription. I've played different versions of that and I've played and it's been here and there for the paper magic. But like arena's the first time I've actually sat down and been like, all right, what you know, how the fuck can I get these synergies to take and work for the cards that I'm wanting to use to build this deck around to actually do some fucking damage and win some fucking games. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I built the core of that deck around emergency power. Now our emergency power is not even in it. I'll take the core, build around it, and find out what works and what don't work. As long as I win at least 50% of the games, I call the deck good. Because you're not going to win every game, even if you take never one that deck out there. Like right now, it's a, there's another discard deck out there using that new uh, Planeswalker to where if you draw a card and you have no card in your deck to draw, you win the game. Well, I'm blown. I, I found that out. That was real quick. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to sideboard this card. Yeah, that's, the, card, that's that new master that kills that deck. They revolved around that planeswalker. Yeah, that's that's a Jace self mill deck because the new, uh, the the uh, the rare Jace planeswalker from War of the Sparks, the uh, one of the static abilities is if you have no cards left in your deck, you win the game. So people have been been building self mill decks, and it's just been, you know, that's well, they like, don't, right, that's why they don't build a deck around one card. Always have options. That's what people do nowadays. They don't <clears> back then. They build it around main main cards. Like I, I build it around this card, but deck can still kill you in many many other ways. Well, see, I've got a, I've the Esper Mill deck I've got. It's got Ashiok, it's got Liliana, and it's got Eldest Reborn. And Ashiok does mill, and I can mill you to death because I've got four copies of him in there. I can mill you to death. I've got Liliana who can take care of your, who can take care of, you know, kill two creatures at once, or can uh, bring out a 2 2 
black zombie, and I've got Eldest Reborn, which can steal your shit. I've got another mill yeah. deck I'm trying to take and tweak that just works off of Ashiok mm -hmm. and Kaya, uh, the from the the last set that took and come out that Ashiok takes and he. He takes and banishes all he exiles all your cards. If I can get two of him out and then get Kaya out, I'll take and all I gotta do is take and do plus one twice on my own cards and then ult on you, you're dead. Simple as that. And yeah. you know, you got to have more than one mil uh more than one uh win con, or otherwise you're short changing yourself. Like all you know, everybody's like, Oh, uh, Esper deck has no win con. No, Teferi is the win con. Eldest Reborn yeah. can be a win con depending on what it takes and pulls from your from your graveyard. That's the win cons in that deck, you know. And Matt, and if you've got if they've got Masterminds Acquisition, that's another win con because it can take and pull out like uh, Zatalpa, the the indestructible dragon, the four eight. It's got double strike and it's got indestructible. Well, you take and get hit in the face three times with that. You know, three different turns with that. Well, you're dead. As simple as that. So that's that's the three win cons that I have. Regardless, you know, people are like, oh, I hate it because I have no win con. No, you hate it because it kills everything on your fucking uh, board. You should see. Uh, I have a red control deck. Yeah. Hey, Alan, is anybody talking on the chat too or no? <laughs> oh, drunken one. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, drunken was asking how far you are from uh, Texas, but um. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna run side and go buy a pack of cigarettes. I'm actually gonna turn you around, see if something better than cigarettes. That's my driver's seat, but I'll be right back. All right. There. Watch the trucks. I'll be back. Oh, the pretty trucks. Now, how long have you been driving trucks? I think he got out. Yeah. Hey, Jacob, are you still around? I know we were talking uh, probably boring stuff for you. Hey, Alan, thanks for letting me come on, buddy. But, uh, yeah, we're going to – oh, yeah, here he is. I think he's leaving. As you can look up, he's leaving. I think yeah, I see. He left. Yeah, I see. I have, a, I have a question for you. Do you play chess or anything like that? No. You play any type of games? Oh, I play Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. But I haven't played any games in a while, but I used to play cards, but that was a long time ago. You ever played any, like, spades or anything like that? Oh, yeah, but that was back in the day. You ever like, red, like, hearts and stuff like that? Yeah, I've done that before. I just haven't done it in a while. Oh, homie, I'm going to take and find something that you can take and play with me as far as spades and shit like that. I don't, I, I, now I don't know how to take and play. I've, I've never played harps that much, but spades, spades is my jam. It's well, funny. I, it, it's I, funny. I took and grew up playing, like, I would take and go to Alabama where my uh, kinfolk live at. Because uh, I'm originally from Mobile, Alabama. That's where most of my family's at. So I, oh, I take right. and go there during the summertime. And I spent a lot of time with my sister's uh, dad and everything like that. And his kids love playing spades. So. I learned how to take and play spades through them. And then um, due to some unfortunate circumstances, I, um, oh, hold on. That's okay. Go ahead. Take care of your business. Um, due to some unfortunate circumstances, I wound up um, in jail for child support. Oh. Um, I took and lost a job, wasn't able to pay it. And my ex-wife is a bitch. And I took and, uh, I took my kid to the, to the doctor, uh, that's a whole different story. I'll, I'll have to talk to you off screen about that one time. Because it sounds like it's private. Yeah, it, it is. It's very private. But anyway, I wound up going to jail for child support. So if you weren't talking um, about that, you talk to me when that's not. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I'll, I'll hit you up one time whenever, you know, I don't go live. I'll just take and do a video chat with you. I mean. Yeah, like you did one time. You called me and yeah. you hang out and we talked. Yeah. Because uh, I won't tell, I won't tell nobody if you. Oh, I know me. that's I know that's the reason why I don't mind telling you exactly you know what happened. But um, I took him up going to jail for uh, five months for child support, and yeah. well, that's a long story, like the, you said. So the, well, let's get into the, that later. Well, the first month I didn't. The first month I was in jail, it was basically I was. I didn't have anything to do, so all I did all day was play spades when I was up. Okay. Uh, the next five months uh, after that. My uh, stepdad, who owns a HVAC company, he actually um, had me come work with him, so I could take and work 
work off what I owed and I nice. could get out early. So, but whenever I took and would either get off early and go back to the jail uh, through work release, or I take and get off for the day and go back, I'd eat my dinner, take my shower. And after that, we'd play spades. You and your dad? No, no. Me at the, me and the jailhouse fellas. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So spades is my shit, and I got really fucking good at it. But Oh, so 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 even though that was a bad thing, we're not going to get too personal because we'll talk about it privately, but even though that was a bad thing, it would also be a good thing because you also got really good at spades. Yeah, I got really good at spades, and I'll be honest with you. There's there's some there's some motherfuckers in jail, child support reasons that need to fucking be there, and there's some motherfuckers in jail for child support reasons that have no business being there. The the okay. ex wife is a fucking cunt. Okay, that's you know, and, and I'll be honest with you, it, it this is my viewpoint on child support. If the dad is involved in the life and he has taken pay, rent and lights and groceries mm -hmm. and for clothing for them to come spend time with him. He should not have to pay child support. If the dad has nothing to do with the child, or if, even if it's the mom, if they have nothing to do with the child, if they might see them once a year, they should pay child support or they should have all their rights stripped. One of the two. There's no in between. Wow. Oh. As long as you're in your child's life, you should not have to pay child support because you're paying because not, anyway. not only not only are you taking and paying the child support, but you're also taking and paying to provide for when they come see you, and you're oh. providing to make sure they they're clothed when they're when they're at your house and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand that there's people that don't that are pieces of shit that don't have shit to do with their kids. They need to pay child support because the mom's not taking getting any added benefit. You know, they're, they're not. You know, they're having to take and do everything on their own. You know, and and I understand. People will be like, well, the mom has to take and do this. I'm like, that's, they have to do that out of that. But that's when they're working their fucking jobs. That's what the fucking pays for. Same as the dad. Whenever he's working his job, that's what the fuck he, he provides for. So whenever he sees his kids, he's got a place to fucking take them. Because if not, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's no reason for a man that, that takes and puts full, you know, puts time into his kids and sees his kids to have to pay fucking child support when he's got to provide all this other stuff on top of it and still have to take and survive. It just, it's no, it makes no fucking sense. Wow. It, it don't, I don't give a shit if the, if the man is making $25 an hour. If, if he, you know, if, if he wants to take and pay, you know, $150 a month or $200 a month to the mom, because she, you know, her job doesn't pay as much as his. Awesome. That's going above and beyond. But as long as he's, you know, like my daughter's 14, I've got, Two daughters from a previous marriage. One of them, she's me and her going to have a talk. That's another conversation we'll have um, off camera. But um, that's all private. Come on, go ahead. I've got a fourteen-year-old that I take and I'll take and text her, see how she's doing, see how her. You know, it's funny. We got invited. Me and my wife took and got invited to a um, one of her concerts, and we we enjoyed the concert. And then afterwards, we met her boyfriend and his parents and stuff like that. And I'll take uh, and she's got a phone. Noise? What's the noise? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mute. I'll mute him real quick. Um, now, go ahead. And I'll take and text her since she's got a phone now, and I'll make sure everything's going all right. And, you know, I'll text her two or three times a week to see how everything's going until, it, you know, until she comes to our house every other weekend. But I've got one daughter. The mom's basically been keeping her from me for a fucking year, and I've got every right to take her to court, but I'm not going to try to force a kid to come to my house and no one to fucking come. I mean, her's gonna have to have a heart, heart talk. That's a whole different ball, you know, story. You know, I'll maybe I'll take and call both of y'all on hangouts one day, and we'll have a you know different conversation about different stuff that's not on stream. But um, you know, I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't be fucking paying child support. I'm not, you know, her mom's not sending her, and she's not. She says she don't want to come. I shouldn't have to pay fucking child support. Well, does she, does she? Let me ask you: this. Does she want to come? I mean, if she wants no, to come, she's she said she don't want to take and come to the house right now. And, and that's a whole, and, and that's a, that's something else we'll take and get into at some other point in time too. Okay, private. Okay. So. Well, I wish you luck, Alan. As I said before, I think we talked about bits and pieces about your other daughter in the past. Yeah. I wish yep. you luck on that. And that's all that matters. So, uh, Jacob, we uh we get a little bit too boring for you there. 
Sorry, Jacob. Alan and me getting these unique conversations. Well, I, well I'm talking about the uh, Magic the Gathering conversation that me and Jason were having. No, it's family stop by to give them the time of day. Oh, I got you. I got you. You got family there now, uh, Jacob? No, they just stopped by. Oh. Huh. Had uh had dropped some stuff off and picked some things up and we chatted for a little bit, but you know. What are you eating there, Jake? Mostly we were talking about talking about my plants, man. <laughs> it's like oh. it's like my uh my rhubarb's twice the size. My rub my rhubarb thinks it's late July. <laughs> no, Damn. what are you what are you eating, Jacob? It was like Twizzlers and Coke. Uh, it's uh, this is uh, cranberry grape juice, and uh, I'm dipping my Twizzler in it. All right, I'll have to try that. It sounds pretty yeah. good. Sounds interesting. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, Jacob, do you play any games like uh, like chess and stuff like that? Do you like like games that make you think a little bit? Do you ever play Risk? My show is called Gemming Out with Jacob and Chess. <laughs> Well, yeah, they're that. <laughs> well, the, it's it's because it's such a long title that it doesn't. It says, you know, it doesn't it doesn't show the part where it says the chess. But I, I don't play chess very often because I got a lot more people coming by lately. You know, it was it was early on. You know, like for the first like three months, nobody came by. And I'd just be live for a couple. It was actually kind of nice, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you got to take an answer. Now, now you got to take a look at people and actually talk to them a little bit. Now I got yeah, I got responsibility to my <laughs> to my my viewers. It's like, why did I come by? Well, uh, no, I uh, <clears throat> I play chess and uh, I do it on chess.com too. So Did also play, play, play I play a card game with a buddy of mine called Family Business. Family business. Hmm, never heard of that one. Have you ever played Risk? Uh uh. Oh. There we go. What did you say, Ashton? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to That's mute you it. there for a second, Jason. You're uh the the outside noise from one of the trucks or something was like so loud it was drowning everything out. Oh my yeah, I, I yeah, you're remember. you're good though. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna I was asking you. you I didn't hear. Have you ever played Risk there, Jacob? Like, uh -uh. oh, dude, you ever play like Stratego or um, uh, yep. Settlers of Catan? Watch out for my number eights and threes. <laughs> you can't find my flag. <laughs> you ever played Settlers of Catan or Catan? Uh -uh. Oh. Yeah, that's that's the type of like board games I, I like playing growing up. Stuff like, especially Risk. There's a guy that I went to church with, uh, and. You can't tell it now, but I took and grew up like from the time. Every time church door was open, our family was there. But um, there was a guy that I used to take and him and his family and his uh, son. I used to take and stay the night with them on Friday, uh, on Saturday nights. And we would take and play risk from like five o'clock in the afternoon until like one o'clock in the morning until we could either get a winner or we, somebody's like, all right, fuck it. We got to go to sleep. There's so much potential there in risk mm -hmm. that they don't have. I would think. Yeah, I've never actually played risk. Oh, it's it's it make you think because you got to figure out exactly where you want to take and build up your armies, where you want to attack to to take and expand, and how you're going to hold on to what you expand to, and the dice roll could fuck you even though you have a massive army there. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. You literally have four things take over eight. Like, really? So, uh, go mad. The rage. Which, that's one of the reasons why I love, like, role playing, like the uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Vampire the Masquerade, because the, the dice roll can either help you take and uh, get past the, whatever you're trying to do, or it can completely fuck you over. I was really lucky at the dice roll on D&D. I just couldn't get into it. Like, I couldn't get into the part of, okay, I. Run up, run behind him, and I try and steal from him before attack. And I'd roll the dice. Like, okay, oh, that's, that's that's all three different dice rolls right there. You got to take into a dice roll for the agility from because you're running. You got to take into a dice roll for the uh, for the stealing and and a dice roll for the getting away. Or it's yeah, that's that's a, that's a whole bag of 
bag of and fun. Running, like the the mini master guy running the game, like he didn't like you. He purposely screwed you, and like almost like that's really just turned me off on it. Like you go play, like he makes sure his buddies get better things or read the book. It's it, it really just kind of turned me off in that area. So I never got into it. Yeah, fuck all that. There's a baseline. Like for success, baseline is normally either six or seven. If somebody takes and does stuff like that. That's too fucking petty. Um, I, I, uh, I hate to do this, but my kids will be home here in about probably the next 10, 15 minutes. Hey, Alan, I thought you said they're going to come in until three, you said. Yeah. Oh, I got a straw. Well, it's about 2.22, and they get out of, they get out of school about 2.15, so sometimes they go home till three, and it depends on how long the line is, but Sometimes they get home around like 235, 240. Okay. Uh, and I got some stuff I got to do before they get home. So I'm on your game the, time zone right now. Enjoy the rest of your day, right. Alan. And I guess I will see you tomorrow morning, I guess, on on, on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah. And um, yeah. Hey, I'll cheers, take- Alex. And cheers, Jay. Is hey. Jason? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Alan. Acid burn. Hey, I'm going uh, I'm on uh, now. I'm going to take and go live again at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to take and do another beer review at 10 o'clock. Or actually, no, I'll probably just go live and take and just have a fucking hangout at 10 o'clock. Oh. So if any of y'all want to join, cool. And um, uh, now, Alan, I can see in, I'll see you. Hey, Alan, is it okay tomorrow, once we do the Twitch, can we check it out and see if it does work on panel-wise or no? Because I'm going to do a test if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. No, like I said, I'm going to take in this afternoon and this evening, I'm going to take and check for the... Uh, how to do how to do a panel on Twitch and stuff like that. So, okay. Just, well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I guess I will see you maybe tonight then. All right, then. I appreciate you stopping by, and uh, Jacob, I appreciate you stopping by, man. It's always it's always fun talking with y'all. So, I will talk to you guys later. All right, man. Later, y'all. Peace out. I talk later. All right, bye.